Right. Second, no, not second to last. There's only three more streams of Grounded remaining. Guaranteed. Because I now have everything I need to finish it on Thursday after the midstream break. Famous last words. Well, maybe. I suppose the only thing that could cause any problem is whether, um, is whether what I believe to be the finale isn't actually just press the button and get big again. So maybe. It did, I think yesterday it did feel like the final fight though, right? I'll carry on, welcome to the stream. Gara, Timmy, how are we? Guaranteed, so if not the greens get 20 points. Well, speaking of, there is this. Have you thought about what you might pray next? Not that, just get rid of that. That. <laughs> Gwynblade, welcome to the stream. I dare play it now. You spooked me. Gwynblade, Alkerion, Gara, Timmy, how are we all? We are all well at this end, Timmy, how are you? The odds, the odds and evens thing's true, they are odd. So, I'm going to beat the game after the midstream break on Thursday. I think I'm going to do what I believe to be the final action, right? Um... I had it spoiled that there's a 100% rating at the end if you collect and do everything. My goal between now and that point on Thursday is to try as hard as possible to get my this save up to that 100% point. That is my challenge. Cut off is Thursday's midstream break. Therefore, I have to try and get every scabby, every molar, every mega molar. I need to try and get every um, area visited. I need to get every collectible. I need to find every corpse. I need to do everything I can to possibly get to that 100% mark. If it is an odd percentage, the greens are going to get five points. If it's an even percentage, the oranges are going to get five points. So that is my final challenge in this game. As I welcome to the stream, do the last quest doubler. I want to know what happens. Well, if you're feeling tired watching me play the way I want to, Gary, you should just look up a, a thing on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of people that are playing the finale. I'm actively gatekeeping it now, essentially. As I welcome to the stream, guaranteed to, if not, the US take over Britain and install the Bush family as the monarchy. I'll take <laughs> which generation. As I welcome to the stream as well. So five minutes after the midstream break on Thursday, you lose power. Cliffhanger. That's out of my control, right? If something fucks with the plan, then that's not in my control. But the plan is to at least, if all goes well, guarantee the finale of the game so we can be playing State Decay on Monday. Imagine. Right, welcome to the stream, everybody. I hope everybody's well. The way I'm going to try and attempt this early doors is to just punch nothing to start with. I think now I have the scabby scanner, the raw science scanner, which I probably also need to get, and the molar scanner, I'm going to go back through the labs in order and just hope that my scanner picks it up and look at every surface and just scan. The other thing that I think is going to count towards the 100% is gold oh, cards. That's interesting. Thanks, Tully. I haven't finished saying it yet is gold cards. Now, I'm going to kill a, a lot of stuff while I'm there, but the gold cards are a random chance upon kill. Some of them have been incredibly difficult to get, but the boss ones, I don't think are as rare. So I'm going to nip over. I'm not going to do this for everything, but I'm going to nip over and I'm going to kill the broodmother while I do the first lab, the hedge lab. How about that? I think I might kill the broodmother first. That's the first job to do today. Let's see if I can get a gold card from her. And then I'm going to work my way through the um, the hedge lab and we're going to search. I heard something about fisting. Charles, welcome to the stream. Seth, and welcome to the stream. You disgusting animals. How are we all? Garfang, welcome to the stream as well. How's it going? How's things? Been a while? How much for you to grow a beard and shave it? I think I could try for a million no, years and not grow a beard, Tim. I don't have the genes. Sounds like you're hedging. Just commit, man. I refuse. I like to keep you all on your toes. Alright, let's go see how easy it is to kill the broodmother. 
with my current setup. Imagine. Right, so I have the bait necessary to summon her. I'm full up. Where's your gifted sub? This guy begging for subs. Don't give him one. It's not worth it. You don't deserve it. Trudy, shut up. Tully, I'll see you shortly. Do I need any arrows? I don't, do I? No. Right, to the hedge. I should have everything I need. I've got 13 and 14 heals. If I can get to the brood mother. Actually, one thing I need to do first. I need to go quickly rub the brood mother statue. Not the statue, the um the what's it called? The stand here and mind right it's still on the seafloor. There you are. Mind right, you enjoying it down there? Definitely don't deserve it. I've never been person of the century of the day. I've never had the privilege. It's not a privilege. It's something you have to earn. I've gone the wrong way. Who built this fucking room? It looks beautiful, but it's terribly difficult to navigate. Right. I'm gonna to... <laughs> Two different answers from Thandia and Mind right there. Mind right said Glub and Thandia didn't even understand the question. I said, Are you still on the uh, floor of the pond, Thandia? You and Mind right, the aphids. And it turns out you are. Thandia woke up the stream. More like a rite of passage through a dank sewer pipe. Do you know what, Alkarian? I might give you personal search of the day just for using the word dank correctly on the internet. I feel like that's gone out of fashion. Always says Thandia. Better than living here, right? Alright, and how fast can I kill this boss? I'm gonna kill her with a with just a sword, see what it's like. Oh hi. How's it going, Doom? You say Doom like it's my name. This guy. Martin, welcome to the stream. It's going amazing when I go and kill this boss. <laughs> Dank, how old are you? That's like slang from 2013. That's what I'm saying, Thandia. He's using dank, not as slang. He's actually using it as a word. It is your name. It is your bollocks. Thank you for the bits. Martin, welcome to the stream. Uh, Satan, welcome to the stream. Please, wasps. No. No. Prick. Ow. Run, 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 run. Which boss? Sir. Yeah, let's have just a lot of... Oh yeah, let's just have everything in the yard chase me. I'm going over to kill the brood mother, the original, for two reasons. The DM stands for Martin Dank memes, remember? That's true, yeah. Yeah, to use it as an actual dictionary word, I, I'm impressed. I'm going over to kill the normal brood mother in the hedge, because the... I, for two reasons. I want to compare the normal fight to the infected fight, which I just fought for an entire week to try and get killed once and I also want to try and get a gold card because the goal of today after I finally got the cocktail made yesterday and I can go home I'm going to go home after the midstream break on Thursday but I want to try as hard as I can to get to 100% before that so I'm going to go and get as many gold cards and we're going to search the hedge lab today for anything I might have missed I thought streamer's name was Mr. Streamer you people. You people are animals. You give me identity crisis. Wait, it isn't your name? I thought your name was Stubble of Doom. It's kind of a cool sci-fi name. People have thought for a while that my name was Stuart Blair. God, imagine having a vocabulary that extends beyond memes. Granddad. I know. I've revealed myself as being completely out of touch. However will I survive? You want to buy you a better of stub? As soon as I let settle a lawsuit for wrongful arrest... You want to buy a, a better what? Sorry, Timmy. A better stubbler. I think we all want that. Least of all, Mrs. Let Me In, please. Thank you. I got my used Tesla S Model 3 plaid today. Fastest production car. You want to get me a better... Oh, a better PC. Oh, I don't need a better PC. I'm good, Timmy. You're the sixth person in this chat, Timmy, to have one of those cars. I think everybody's... They're, they're like the most common thing in the world now, right? Right. I still have... Four, no, 75% of my buff left. It 
If I can get in there really quickly, I think I'm just gonna. We'll just, we'll just beat her up. If I get a gold card, am I allowed person in the century of the day? I'm really interested to see the the contrast between the infected version of this fight and whatever it is now. The only thing I don't like about this fight is it has ads, and I think any fight, any single player fight that has ads, is it's just it stresses me out. After I've killed her, I'll come back and we'll start from this area again, and just we'll just go through the lab and look for any potential uh, anything that the scanner picks up, because I think anything regarding like. It's raw science or collect of notes or audio logs or molars or scabbies or any of that is probably going to count. Broodmother might. The OG one, not the uh, infected one. I'll try and get a gold card off her. Partially, I just want to see what it, how it compares to the super version of it. Yeah, partially for the gold card, but mostly because I want to see how it compares to the super version of it. See, I'll, I'll come back and I'll check all of this stuff, but I want to just quickly get to the boss because uh, time's wasting on buffs and stuff. How do I... Oh, here. So this should take me over to the Frisbee. All right. Estimations time. Do I die on the OG Broodmother fight because I'm getting cocky? I'm not going in with any extra buffs. I might actually tinker with my spec real quick. Let me just set my respawn point. Right, my spec is swords. Yes, yes, yes. Don't want that on. Or do I? Do I need anything from her? I'm just wondering whether I want to sticky fingers her or whether I want to just fuck her up. Maybe I'll go yoked blows and critical hit and I'll just I'll just absolutely her head off. Right, Thor's pendant, this should be good. Set respawn point. Ah, <sighs> gimme this gold card, big lady. I hate that I can't get that quest text off the screen. It's killing me. Fancy streaming on what was clearly a Sunday. Sorry, I missed that certain. You mean yesterday? I know, right? It was such a beautifully quiet and peaceful day in the Doom House yesterday. I loved it. Saying that, a green one marble, so that's not good. But other than that... Alright. After what I went through... Wait, why are you killing it? I need to write that on screen. I've said it about 35 times. Um. What's this? Marbles is late. Cry about it. Uh, let me write this on screen. Killing her again for gold card. There we go. Am I right to have that on screen like, the whole way through the fight? I was doing something I haven't done since 2014. Buying some new footwear. I've noticed as you get old, you just... um, You don't seem to buy shoes anymore, right? Prediction on how many attempts this will take. <laughs> I'm not dying here. Right, I'm also buying some new footwear today or tomorrow. What the hell? I actually need some new. I'm with you, Ashley. I was told by podiatrist to get some better shoes for walking as DMs aren't good. I got some walking boots in time for the games expo. Good shout. That is a good shout. Hello, lady. It's nice to see you. How slow is your attack pattern compared to your infected self? Okay. 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 That's... This is slightly different. Look how slow she is. <laughs> okay, I need to be careful killing the ads, though. She could still fuck me up. Whoa, she's got that. Has she been given new attacks? She might have actually been given new attacks. Look, she's got the dive back that the infected version does. I should have maybe put Mithridatism on, I think. Bam! 
best boss music, by the way. That hurt. She's not such a pushover. Okay, the ad phases are a bit... As always. She's so slow, yeah. That might be the most notable thing, is just her attack speed. After what we watched all last week with the infected broodmother. Oh, give me that gold card. That knockback that she now does is tough. Just glad she doesn't have the healing debuff that the uh, infected one does. Let's get the last ad phase done. jumping. Ow, that raw hurts. Really hurts. Have they buffed her? Has she had a buff? I think she's had a buff. She's now got a raw. Uh, for those of you that haven't beat the infected brood of the, the normal brood mother yet, you might regret your choices to delay because she seems to have been given... A pretty serious book. Wow, look at that knockback. I have to block that, don't I? Okay, I need to learn how to time that. Otherwise, I'm... I just want the ads to go away. It's the raw, just like a permanent damage that she does. This is cool. This thing. Look at my health. Woo. Well, I will fully admit to being completely humbled by the big lady. My DMs are, in general, I've had them for years and still selling my new rocks. Need the back plate replacing. I seem to buy more shoes than ever. I'm paraphrasing, but you shouldn't skimp on those things that connect you to the ground. Shoes, tyres and beds. True. Oh, how many times to kill her to get the card? I'm not going to be farming like that. I'm better, I don't know, right? All right, let's change things up a bit. I've not done anything other than boots since high school. These are fairly close to trainers, at least by my standards. Looking back at this, the difficulty progression of the game seems really good. It maybe did until I tried this fight out, Chaz. This seems like it's... They've maybe made it like a junior fight of the... Um, Infected version. And I should probably treat it as such. It's a learning run now, I suppose. I want to know what that... That... Major attack she does this. So I can't... I have to perfect block it to avoid all the damage. You still take a significant amount of damage even through the block. After tier 3 on the infected fight, uh, sorry, phase 3. This seems like child's play. Um, it seems like child's play levels of slow attack pattern, but I aren't used to the attack pattern. How come small Nicky humiliation is used so often in internet speak? <laughs> Did somebody say SMH? SMH. Abstractly welcome to the stream. That was a good shot, right? I think they have actually buffed this fight. I deserve the gold card after this. She's humbled me. Always a good time to be humbled by a big lady. That's why everybody bought that Resident Evil game, right? She said, yeah, for so long. 
more like difficulty than mechanics. She probably did scale with late game builds. Yeah, almost precisely. I mean, this fight's obviously had a buff, but when I was here last, it was a joke, so... It was like a good example of how... Late game armor and builds change things. This is the final ad phase, right? Gorfang looks up the spider the broodmother was based on. Yeah, the spiny orb weaver. They're weird though, aren't they? They look like they're made of like rubber. Because they're kind of small and the, the, this whole red and white backplate thing. I'm, I'm losing out here. Fuck! This is this is me, by the way, in full end game armor, sort of. All right, let me just focus on that. Oh, that feeling when I'm so used to the hard version, I can't do the easy version because the timing's off. Yeah, th th I think Chaz has them in uh, where he lives. Fuck. That is insane. Did you see that? It just, like, bleeds away my health and I can't heal through it. They're everywhere in the southern states. Yeah, Chaz is in Texas. He says he sees them quite a lot. You underestimate my hatred for all things creepy and or crawly, Chaz. Guess you suck then. I do. Yeah, sorry, this, they haven't buffed it. It's just that I I'm re I really suck. And I'm terrible at video games. So long as spiders stay out of my way, they can chill. The second they get close to interacting with me, fuck that. So you don't find the infected broodmother as adorable as we do, so then. Everyone outside my back door, I just left it there. It ate so many mosquitoes. They are incredibly helpful. If the one creepy crawler you get familiar with is a spider, then your life gets infinitely better. They're probably there, Sothan. You just don't see the ones that crawl in your mouth when you're asleep. What do you mean you swear to God you will discipline me? Promise? Right, let's deal with the um, ad phases properly this time. Kill all these nerds. Is she jumping? Right, add phase one, complete. There's one at 75, one at 25, and one at 50. Like every video game ever. Some poison or other is fucking me up. I might need to put Mithridatism on for the next attempt if I need one. I have underestimated you, big lady. Look, look at my health. I think this is the... If you've not got Mithridatism on, you're an idiot to fight. I'm glad I came here, actually, because this feels like fighting a new boss. Spiders that bother me, they also live 20 years. Longer than Charlie. <laughs> I have no confidence in this block timing. Phase three of the infected broodmother fight is like five times faster and does five times more damage. But I got well practiced on that, whereas this. Cheeky welcome to the stream. Would you believe it? Stubbler's fighting a boss again. How are we, Cheeky? Cheeky, did you have a good stream? Is this still GTA 4? Would you believe I came back here to laugh at how easy the, infect the normal broodmother... The normal broodmother is. And they've buffed her. All right then. What is it that she does uh, after 25%? She does something serious. Welcome to the stream, everybody, by the way. Thanks for the raid, Cheeky. If you're enjoying Cheeky's GTA playthroughs, make sure you're following him. Or if you enjoy content better than this. 
Look at this. Fuck. I just have to take damage. Sorry, yeah, they didn't buffer. I'm just terrible. Says Garu said Leeds were going to stay in the Premier League. <laughs> Ant and Decker are older than 20. They're not real Geordies, no. They were made in a lab in BBC Studios. To take down ITV from within. Right, watch this attack now. No second cheeky. And... Yeah, GTA 4, loving it. Gone through Packy's missions today and the brothers arguing constantly is funnier than I remember. It's pretty much the main thrust of the back half of the game, right? All right, Cheeky, I appreciate the raid. What did I get from her? Broodmother Chunks, Broodmother Venom, Broodmother Fangs, and no gold card. All that, and I would have said it was worth nothing, but that was interesting to see how the fights changed. All right, everybody, if you haven't already beat the Broodmother in Grounded... And I've got bad news for you because it turns out she's got a lot more powerful. No gold card. Waste of a fucking journey. I thought I was going to be able to do that with no, without any heals as well. And now I've fucked myself and I've got not enough heals for the rest of the stream. Thanks, brood mother, for nothing, as usual. Fuck. All right, I'm going to have to get find some good stuff in this hedge lab. Because... If you think about it, my push to try and get 100% in this game favours the oranges because... 100%, if I could manage it, is an even score, which favours the oranges. So every... Th but then again, it, it's hard, actually. Awesome! Yeah, I think it was the... It, it's uh, the word similar to an offensive word in this country, Cheeky. I think that's why it decided to auto-mod it. But yeah, I know what you mean. Correct. So that's my that's the only way I can maybe influence the scores this year, other than of course being the winner of the stubble round on Friday. You know, built different and all that. I want to try and get to a hundred percent for the oranges, but the trouble is if I get just under a hundred, then it favours the greens, but if I get just under just under a hundred, it favours the oranges again. This is gonna be tricky. But I think it's a smaller enough percentage that it'll be fine within the interval. I think it's fine though, right? Yeah. I mean, there's only one that I can. There's only one way that I can manipulate it, and that's to try and get everything. But to try and get everything is incredibly difficult because if I almost get everything but miss one, like scabby or something like that, then I've given the greens five points. There are Gary. Yeah. Where's the ascent for the hedge? I suppose I might as well start that, right? So it's behind me in this direction. Also true. I don't know whether I'm going to regret this whole thing, but... Fuck it, right? Right, let's go sleep at the base of the hedge, then I'm going to go through the entire hedge lab and just search everything. Everything I find... Potential, in theory, helps the oranges, but in practice might really fuck us over. Oh, fucking hell, I can't sleep for a while yet. I suppose we're searching this lab by night. Forgot how much easier it was to level a warlock in the first three bits of WoW. First three bits of it, if you mean the first three expansions. Cheeky, thank you for the raid, I appreciate it as always. Yeah, that whole back sort of third of the game is pretty much those brothers, right? And sister. Right, is there anything in here? I'm here to search your labs in every way. I thought about using the word expand. Yeah, vanilla's not expand. The first three. I think you can. If you want to be exact, then you're right. But I think the word expansion, people pretty much know what you mean, right? Is there anything this way? Yeah, fucking leveling a warlock in vanilla is stupid easy. It's almost as easy as levelling a hunter. Surely I can get up there. 
That looks like somewhere I can get up. Maybe if I get up there, go around and drop down. There's something up there for me. See, this is what I'm going to have to do now. Everything I can collect favours the oranges. They do, yeah, they like, oddly become pretty much main characters ahead of Nico, don't they? I forgot how that story goes. So, where was I before? So I was down here, wasn't I? And I was trying to get, what, up there? No. Whoa. I have good memory on the auto mod thing. <laughs> yeah, he's in GTA Online, isn't he? Yeah. Easier than 100 in some cases. So much sustainability. Tap, drain life. So you're always at 100 out of 100, yeah. Yeah, it's ludicrous. You can see why people just make macros and just AFK level, right? No challenge whatsoever. Right, so there's nothing up here. Maybe if I go up this one. I'm just looking for scabbies. I'm looking for raw science. I'm looking for molars. There's one. I need one molar. I'm at the top of the hedge. And my scanner's not picking up anything up here. Come on, game. The hedge is going to be an annoying one in this uh, uh, aspect, I think. I kind of like that you can't track how close to 100% you are. I don't feel like that's common. That's where I wanted to be before, is it? Where's the research station? So that's under me to the right here. And it was up there I wanted to get to. Yeah, it was like one of... Oh, did I just completely miss that jump though? It was fucking idea, was it? To jump, make that jump without a proper tuft. Me manually toggling auto attack on and off with my wired mouse. Hey, Thandia, wired mouse master is. I'm with you. These people with their wireless mouses don't know the true power of having cables everywhere. Did I say mouses? Did I actually say mouses? <laughs> because the best way to uh, to be sarcastic in a debate about something is to completely misunderstand, uh, mis speak a very simple word. But as we all know, it doesn't matter who who is right or who is wrong. It's who is grammatically more correct. I know, right, Thandi, he makes himself out to be this sort of pleasant, sort of fluffy, kind of peaceful character, but he's got more bite than everybody put together. And that's why everybody knows him as one of the biggest bullies in the Doom House. I am like that, though. I like Wired stuff a lot more. I know there's no delay or no latency or anything like that, but I like having my internet in the wall... My headphones plugged in. Welcome to the new followers, by the way. My mouse wired. All my controllers wired. I just like... I don't know. I like the assurance. I'd like to be assured that it's not going to let me down based on battery life or because I've been forgetful. Southern kills me all the time when we play Rainbow Six Siege. It's the, I mean, you'll know it more than we do, right? This fluffy exterior that he presents... It hides a dark soul and a twisted intention. You're right, <laughs> he says. <laughs> Depends on what I'm doing. Also, in fairness, I don't mean to kill you. It just happens with surprising accuracy and in surprising quantity. And them notes that you found under his, uh, that you found under your desk, so then, that describe it all in surprising detail. Oh, here we go. This is Biggest bully in the Doom House. It's the massive sword collection that intimidates me, Doom Harchot. Yep. Yep. It just, like, it's just violence just drips from every paw. I'm too used to wired mice. I have flung the mouse of, off the tray multiple times when I pushed the tray away to get up after I got wireless. Oh, so you, like... <laughs> <laughs> Sent it flying. Yeah, at least the cable stops it from being able to uh, hit the wall, right? Alright, this way then. Anything this way. 
Come on, get me this 100%. I've got three grounded streams left that I'm fanning about in the hedge lab. There used to be a molar up on top of this once upon a time. Let me drink this. I hate it. I can't... I I can't aim worth a spit, but for some reason the second an ally surprises me, I manage to snap into their <laughs> snap to their head. <laughs> You'll get a reputation like that, Sotha. If we count a KD for killing friendly, Sotha has probably a three point oh. <laughs> Do you know what? His record in My Summer Car is one of the worst records in the history of anybody playing that game, and he's never even played it. So this is the scanner room area, right? I don't know if I fully searched. I imagine I fully searched this place. Come on, give me something. Give me a collectible. I think I've got everything in the hedge, so I don't really need to worry about things that aren't scannable. What are we doing? That sword has the colour scheme from AQ40. Do you know what? It's made out of toenails, Thandy. That's actually a toenail sticking up above my head right now. At school one day, Sotan told me I had a face only a mother could love. I went home and found out I was adopted. That's true as well. Like, for the first time, Santa's not actually come in and told Joe. Luckily, the carpet softens the landing. I don't think it's good for the mouse. <laughs> Got into the habit of putting the mouse into its dock every time I get up nowadays. Yeah, that's probably for the best, right? So, uh, what we do? I am. I I beat the game. I don't know if you were there for it yesterday, Thandy. I what I believe is beat the game. I just need to go and put the thing in the machine to make myself big again and go home. But I'm uh, I'm trying to get to a hundred percent completion. So I'm going to. Beat the game halfway at the halfway point on Thursday. I've got I'm challenging myself to get as close to 100 percent as possible. If I get an odd number percentage, the greens get five points. If I get an even number percentage, the oranges get five points. So then is the my summer cow widow maker. It's true. Santa, welcome to the stream and thank you for the bits. And thank you for being honest about how you've been treating this place, Santa. I think it's important that we all share these stories to try and make change for the better, you know? So I'm just wandering around, uh, just trying to look for extra bits and bobs. Assuming there isn't another hidden story, boss. There might be. I. It feels like the event we did yesterday was the final event, right? Good morning. Yeah. I have decided to grace you all with my presence. Capital less than three. Fisty. Everybody's here now. What? What is this? Is, am I about to get like banned or something? You've all got advanced knowledge. Everybody's just turning up to watch it happen and revel in it. Fisty, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the bits. Good morning. Going for a hundred percent, Thandy. If I can do it, the oranges get five points. If I fuck it up, the greens have a chance. But only if I fuck it up by one percent. God, I love this place with the heat of a nervous system. I've not walked up here before. Come on, give me a molar. Give me a molar. I need one more uh, milk molar as well. And then we're going home on Thursday. You won't be here for marbles, sadly. I think, Fisty, you should go for an entire calendar year to see if you can not get a point despite being in lots of marbles. Fisty, good morning. Scabbies, molars, raw science, anything that my thing picks up, Gar. Don't seem to be anything up here, though. Who are you? I'm Sotan and my parents raised me right because you don't have any to raise you. Ooh, ooh, oy, I. <laughs> I like the you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is all the type of things Sotan said to us in the past in private messages when he doesn't think it's going to be shared. Why are you setting yourself up for failure? Well, I don't know. I might be on 96% now, Thandy, and if I just walk into the end of the game, then... Success, right? But I might also be on 95% or 51% or something odd. Although I've not found anything so far. I killed the last boss. I killed the last boss. I killed the, inf uh, the normal broodmother just before. Who's had a buff, it turns out. She ate all my heals and I didn't get anything. Come on, something here. 
Something here. You, 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 you. Basically what I managed to do last year. True, actually, Southend did quite well. It was Mina as well, right? Got to, like, May or something and was in pretty much every Marbles and didn't get a point. Didn't get any points last year. I, I can't remember, Fisty. I think we talked about the narrative early this year about you not getting any last year, too, so it's probably true. You just need to hit it five times. I'm missing... Whoa, my... Oh. So I need to hit that thing five times, and then I'll get the final molar. I need one. One normal. This is the stuff I'm missing, actually. This is what I'm... If I get to the end of that list, I feel like I might be at 100%, but there's also a lot of scabbies on there that I've not got. If you're wondering why I'm just searching like this, I do have a scanner on my wrist. And it'll pop up if I get close to something that I need. So I'm just sort of going in the general area and waiting for the scanner to maybe pick something up. But as it, as we stand, it's picked up. You know. I haven't had any points since 2021. <laughs> Pretty good. I always knew this place was for generates. For degenerates, of course it is. Look at the state of everybody in the channel, Handy. Look at them all. We only deal in degenerates, apparently. I feel like I'm some kind of holding pen for the worst of Twitch. I believe! Last year I spent three months in a live away from home program, though, so it wasn't really my fault. It's also not my fault that you do marbles right around lunchtime. Fisty! I've had some accusations levelled at me in the past, but spoiling lunchtime is quite another. Hey, we, res we resemble that remark. Oh, shit, turn that off. Back on Far Cry with minimal UI and hard difficulty. It's so fun. True. Immersion mode, right? Until it becomes a theme park again. Can I just... Can, can something just unlock, please? Just be like, Bloop, here's a molar. And I'd be like, pretty good. And it'd be like, yeah, you're right. But for some reason, no. Struggle stubbler, it says. Go on that way, something, anything. Dealing degenerates. Didn't she get a... Dealing degenerates, didn't she get a US TV sh uh, show cancelled for doing herself? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Sarah. That's, that's quite good. I hate it. For doing the sofa. Oh dear. Fuck this place. Yes, you! Oh, oh shit, hello. Alright, pals. Alright, nerds. Yes, hello. Ooh. Totally pre accident. Looted that. Anything up here? Chair on the wall. The real problem is that my program involved supervision after eating lunch and such, so it was a bit interfering. Oh, uh, so you couldn't... So the fact that you watched the Doom House would have had to have been made public, which is definitely something you don't want getting out there, of course. You don't want somebody noticing that you're watching the Doom House. Yeah, I get you, I get you. It's probably for the best, though, because I think the Greens winning for a third year in a row, Fisty, would be bad for their um, egos, you know. You know what these people are like. Doing a Sothan. Bullying, doing a Stubbler. I'm running back. To oh, doing a Sothan is bullying. Doing a Stubbler is running back to the start in Fall, guys. But such, such vibrant legacies we're going to leave behind in this place, Sothan. Where's the zip line? I've got a bit... Is it down here, maybe? Latest headline, this morning to be replaced by the Doom House streams. Starring Doom, as your host. There really is nothing more jarring than hearing me being referred to as the, as Doom, right? Hey, where's this go? There's a zip line. 
Fishing stubbler, stubbler doom and swift do house. That sounds like a stately home, sort of. Alright. We are in the final area of the lab. Tell me there is something here for me. A molar. A scabby. Something to make me happy. There's a picture of... Speaking of Swift Do, there's a picture of him here. Swift Do House. Born the 8th of the 7th, 89. Nothing in here, is there? Hello? Hello? No. Come on, I've got a lot of lamps to search today, game. Don't be holding me up. Anything left? Hey. That used to be the last boss of this. To the point where I literally wasn't strong enough or talented enough to kill it. Might think of the bits. Um... Right, where are you? Something in here. Oh shit, I forgot I've got my poison build. I enjoyed the crits on the boss, but maybe I should have just poisoned it to death. That would have made more sense. Is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. Is that the right one? That's the right one. Hey everybody, I think there's a bug in the system. What? To say you're spiders, you really don't like poison. Sounds like something you'd find on a waifu pillow. We're not all as entrenched in Japanese culture as you are, mine. You're gonna have to explain it to the uh, to the adults. In the room. <laughs> Fucking hell! Where have all you lot come from? Come on, give me something. Preferably not tons of tiny spiders. I've wasted a whole the whole start of today's stream not finding anything in this lab. I think it would have already popped up if there was anything. My scanner would have found it. And as far as I can tell, I've got everything in this lab anyway. That just goes to the lower sections. Sweet, sweet lower sections. The berry research area. Hello? No? Burgle getting a bollocking for drawing on stuff. There's nothing here. Yes! Fuck! I need to drink this coffee as well. Right, I'll check one more area. And if it's not there, we'll continue on and we'll do the same again for the pond. Where this last molar is, I have no idea. I think it might be in the... Um, I think it might be in the top area of the um, hedge, the thingy lab. Famously, the very first instance of a computer bug was recorded at 3.45 p.m. 15.45 on the 9th of September 1947. This bug was an actual real-life Wellex moth that was extracted from the number 70 relay panel F of the Harvard Mark II Aiken relay calculator. That is actually where the phrase came from, isn't it? I was expecting some stupid punchline, but I think we just accidentally learnt something. Huh. I never actually wondered where a bug in the system came from. Well, fuck me. I'm sorry, everybody, that really didn't want to learn anything today, but Martin's kind of forced it on you. Yeah, I've never considered that before. <laughs> Shit. Thanks, Martin, for nothing. I'm not here to read and learn stuff. Loser. Hey, the sun's come up. Is it... How do I get out towards the scanner? It's northwest from here, I think. 
So that way. Watch the beer molar appear. Imagine. They preserved it in the computer logbook. So they said there's an issue here when there was a bug in the system. And bug in the system became there's a picture of the bug. God the <laughs> What a bunch of nerds. Alright, as the sun rises on a new day, I think we can safely say the hedge has been completely cleared. This is where I actually got the recipe to summon the brood mother from, right? Look at this. It's a pretty good view. Next, however, we go to the pond. Kind of wild to think computers used to be mechanical overall, yeah. Hmm. And it was similar technology that put people on the fucking moon, if you believe in that. So there's a picture of the first ever bug in the system in Discord. There is. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, of course, the moon isn't real. The moon is just a placeholder in the sky to give um, Kerbal Space Program something to work off. And even then, Kerbal spelled it wrong. Meals on wheels. Hello, Aphids. All right, Hedge Lab. That might be the last time we ever go to the Hedge Lab and see the Brood Mother. Goodbye, Hedge Lab. I would say we enjoyed you, but no. I remember the first time going in there. I died so often because this difficulty was fucking me up at the start of the game that I had to have bedrolls littered all the way around the outside of the, the lab. So I could respawn and not have to walk back to get my bag back. And I was using like pebble spears and weevil shields and stuff. And the Orb Weaver Junior, that was the last boss of the uh, of the lab, I According had to treat to that like a last boss, and I, to the point where I never actually managed to kill it. I had to leave it alive just to get to the end. But we have done it, and we are finished, and we are out the other side. Found out there's a surprising, horrifying number of flat earthers in medical school, including one or two professors. Oh, yeah, you were saying the other day, so I think. Thinking space is fake. I never noticed I can actually hear the water sloshing up here. Space is fake, and it's just a dome over the earth. It would be interesting to be in their class for about two minutes. Sorry, Martin, I was uh, I was busy with something at the second. Bear with me. I was halfway through an explanation about the hedge lab. According to Yorkshire-based astronauts, Wallace and Gromit, the moon is just made of cheese. I never realised that Wallace and Gromit are from Yorkshire, but I suppose they are, aren't they? Because to me, they didn't have funny accents. They just sounded like everybody else. Martin, thank you for the bits. The moon is fake, the earth is flat, Tupac is alive, and wiping after pooing is a myth. The trick is to wipe before. My dad's one of them. Not that he believes the earth is flat, but finds it hard to believe that the earth is round. I suppose... Like... I believe the earth is flat. Is flat, sorry. Is round based on faith that the people that tell me it is know what they're talking about, right? And it's easy faith to have because there's a million reasons why it, of course it is. But it's still faith, right? I just have to believe that what I've been taught about the basic principles of physics are true. You can do so then, but I haven't. So therefore... If you wait before, what's a B-Day for? Drinking. Have you not been drinking out of the B-Day, Abstract? Abstract. You've been missing out. Right, I'm just going to go nip and get some more heels and then we'll do the pond. Conspiracies don't really seem to have a basis in intelligence. No, true. And I think... Like... I think the problem with conspiracies is one in ten are right. And then... 
it adds credence to everything else, doesn't it? Even the most ridiculous stuff. Aren't most flat earthers just edgelord epistemologists who don't really believe it, but they're raising some sort of met daft metaphysical question? I always feel that with the flat earth thing. I don't buy a lot of it. I think there's maybe something a bit darker going on, but yeah, there are people that definitely believe it. You can have extremely intelligent conspiracy theories that believe in things like Flat Earth and QAnon, etc. It's about the distrust rather than lack of intelligence. Yeah, exactly. If you just don't have the faith and the trust that we do in the sources that are giving us the information, then... It's not about believing one thing is right. It's about believing the person that tells you the, that the other thing is trustworthy, right? You massively underestimate the number of crazy conspiracy theories at the moment. I am, Sothan, I am, but yeah. I am just gonna I, I'm just keen to make sure that I that I aren't just dismissing anything that has the word conspiracy on it, because I think that's just as foolish and close minded as they are, right? But okay, one in a thousand, shall we say. They're not conspiracies, there's only the conspiracy. The grand conspiracy. If you look at any of the planets we can see, even the moon or sun, those things are round, so why wouldn't the Earth be round too? That's how our certain historical groups have seen it, so to them it was more a logical assumption that the Earth must be round too. 100% yeah. I do believe in all of the science for the record, I'm just trying to work out how a person could come to the conclusion that things aren't um, what they're being told. And is it a distrust of the person saying it, or is it a fear of being incorrect, or fear of being blinded by something or other? I once drunk out of a bee day. Fuck off, I can't spell. Sothan held my head in one. <laughs> he does do that. Alright, let's knock up some heels really quick. Yeah, I'm certainly not giving credence to anything, but... I also worry about the word conspiracy being a handy tool to label something that you wish people weren't talking about. To the everyday eye, the Earth looks flat from our perspective when we stand on it. Yeah, it's also true that when we look at the moon, those are round. So this is probably the best argument used to counter. So this is probably the argument I'd use to counter, but the Earth looks flat to my eyes. Yes, of course. I think we could also be... Tully, what are you doing there? We could also fall down the hole of a bunch of people that know full well that the Earth is round, trying to find a good explanation for why the Earth is round. Which... We don't need to do, right? But yeah, I know what you mean. Gravity, which unfortunately is something we can't see. True, true, true. I think a lot of it comes from a person's uh, inability to trust. I'm just grabbing some heels before we go search the pond left. Inability... Uh, for some reason, they've got an inability to trust. Just like a fruit pounder. And it manifests in them starting to doubt everything around them, right? Erasthenes er proved the Earth was round, then accurately did data mine the size of it, and that was around 240 BC. Yeah, it's cool as dicks. It really is. Like, the, what we, the, the amount of time we've known a lot of this stuff based on very sort of basic rudimentary research, and then just a lot of very clever thinking. It's so cool. Eratosithe... Eratosthenes, is that how you say it? Thanks, so, then. But if you're only going to rely on the evidence of your eyes for stuff, you're going to miss out on a lot. No, I know, but it's like... I mean... What's the... What's the... What's the philosoph philosophy that you have faith... You have faith in things, but you only truly believe things that you can prove yourself. There's a word for it. What's that? Is it empiricism? Aristosthenes nuts. <laughs> Imagine that statement. I think it's empiricism, right? And I think we have to admit that we're all a bit like that. Like, we can... We can't... We have to just have faith that the data that we use is correct, or that the conclusions we've come to are correct, on a lot of things that we can't prove, right? 
or that the people telling us that it that is there is correct. But we can't actually physically see or prove anything. Like we can't. It's, it's the same thing is like, how can you prove that Japan exists? You can't until you've been there and you've stood on it, right? Because there, you could, if you wanted to be pedantic, pick apart any argument that Japan exists until you stand on it and you say otherwise. So I just have faith that those that tell me that Japan exists and people that come from Japan exist and all that sort of I just have faith and belief and trust that that information is not fabricated for some fucking reason, which I'm not sure why it would be. It's just a stupid example. Faith becomes harder with the disinformation era. Practically, it is, it is. I think everybody is both spreading disinformation, claiming everything else is disinformation to the point where we're we're kind of retreating back to what we can truly, or some of us are retreating back to what we can truly prove. And that gets smaller and smaller every day because you can't even trust that the person that you can hear speaking is real. The importance of trusted credentials is what underlies it. And there's also consensus. Exactly so, but you're trusting all of that, right? You're trusting that the consensus is something that's trustworthy. You're trusting... It just comes down to faith and trust and belief that... You know what I mean? I can prove Japan exists based on the trauma inflicted on me by weeb shit. <laughs> Azaz scars. But I just need some... I've got Mike Fuzz back at base. I just need some... Algae and some clay, so I'm just going to nip over and grab some clay. So when people are being disinformed, told to trust credentials, told to trust common consensus, things get very touchy. They do, they do. Yeah, it... And I think if somebody's already gone off the deep end with that stuff, which is dismissive, I shouldn't really say it like that, but when somebody's already gone off the deep end and they've, they've already lost faith and lost trust in the people and the institutions that are giving out fact, or giving out 99.99999% established fact on these sort of things, if they lose faith in that for whatever reason, it's very hard you're not going to mock them back into trusting it. You're not just going to roll your eyes and laugh and say, oh God, these people, lol. You're not going to get them people back by... And no matter how much you say, it, science has proved this to be true, or here's the papers that prove it, or whatever. You'll just fall into the list of people they don't trust, right? And I can't sit here now and claim that I know what it feels like to mistrust everything around me. It can't be fun. Doggy, welcome to the stream. We're discussing the philosophy of, um, <laughs> what, belief? It's like if X and Y and Z are not the same, are not actually, X, Z, X, Y and Z are not actually true according to disinformation, then anything I want to be true can be. It's very 1984. It is, it is. But I think the handy thing is, is we're all putting it down to partisanship and we're all saying, oh, well, we're not bad as they are, etc. But we're all circling the same drain. The USA has so much influence in other countries that it's seeping out, included into my own. I don't imagine that being a victim of disinformation is fun at all. It would make you deeply insecure about your world and everything around you. True. To the point where, if I feel like I've been fed a lie, I sit and deny it as hard as I can, just because it's an uncomfortable feeling, right? As the current going on for things like climate change, I could get a doctorate in envir environmental science and I still have multiple friends that would say I'm just outright wrong and global warming doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Um, I just... I, I don't know what eroding the trust in everything is going to do for us. I don't know what bullying the opposition is going to do for it. I don't, I don't get it. Struggle doesn't exist. It's all a mix of pre-recorded video. I mean, nobody ever gave birth to somebody and called them Stubbler. So technically... Chris John, welcome to the stream. How's it going? I believe I've been watching the stream every day and not being AWOL for over a month. <laughs> actually, yesterday beat the game for the first time, Chris John. Didn't actually... I've not made myself big again yet, but I did what I believe to be the final event of the uh, Java Matic, so... This is the last week I'll be playing Grounded. How are we, Chris John? 
especially in the US, it's worth at least asking if the institutions deserve that much trust. It's not as if everything is hunky dory and the only reason to be skeptical is exactly. But that's the thing. How much corruption and bullshit is there in the science community? Can you claim it's zero? Because it's not zero. But it's also not 75% to the point where the Earth's fucking flat and, and etc. Like, you just have to use faith, don't you, right? Yep, you don't want to admit you're wrong, especially when you have no idea what could possibly be right. It requires you to work through your own brain, which is painful. True. Humans have a very nasty habit of avoiding short-term pain, even when they know it'll cause long-term pain. Yeah. Uh, when they know it'll cause long-term gain. Hang on, what do I need for this? I need 15 of those. 50. No, I need algae, of course. I guess the problem is when everything gets confused to the point where you can't tell what's the system what's what's the system corrupting, yeah. It does feel like I, I I I've just lost faith in who's telling the truth. And I just have to believe that the positive one is the right one. There's a twenty thirteen meta study called Quantifying the Consensus on Anthropogenic Global Warming in Scientific Literature. In the study, the researchers reviewed 12,000 abstracts of peer-reviewed papers on climate change. They determined around 97.1 of the community surrounding it endorsed the consensus that it exists and that humans have caused it. Even then, there's over a quarter of people in the US that don't believe in it. I'm not trying to make a political point, this is. Just the first example that comes to mind. Again, we, it doesn't need to be proven, right? I, I, like, But if people don't trust the 97% or they don't trust the paper or they don't trust like that lack of faith can be in anything and if you truly believe that I'm lying I could say this wall exists and you could say you've lied to me before I'm not sure and it's it's daft and irrational but if you already don't trust me Climate change is one that almost warrants the conspiracy stuff, given the proportion of harm normal civilians are doing versus a handful of huge companies. It's a difficult one, yeah. I think the science stuff is only corrupted when it comes to making money or political power, just like much of everything else. But that's the thing in the US, right? Money and political... Uh, it's so rife in politics. That 97% is kind of fabricated. But half of those 12,000 papers boil down to we're not sure and the author throws them out then gets some other witchcraft to get the 97% figure. It's true that what you say, like you could find a reason to quickly dismiss literally anything. The fact that companies are doing their best to blame it on the population so they can continue to make their profits, which is a problem with capitalism. No one seems to want to admit it, that it's a serious issue. If we admit it's a severe problem, we have to question the entirety of the system and the government and the companies really don't want you to do that. I think the thing with the problem with capitalism is there is no alternative at the moment, right? Or there is no alternative that has been proven to be better than it. Other than more socialised systems like Norway has got and that kind of thing, which I fully understand, but it's still a capitalist model, right? It needs fi I think it needs fixing as opposed to keep trying the same thing that's gone wrong in the past. The same alternative that's gone wrong. If we admit it's a severe problem, we have to question the entirety. Yeah, there was another study on this consensus done five years later that confirmed it, but it was also still headed by John Cook, author of the original. I don't mean climate change is bullshit, but if you read that paper and your red flags go off, it's hard to read the rest of the science uncritically. True, 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 true. Yeah, if you, if, if you have... Tully, shut up! If you have doubts on 1% of it, you can throw the rest out, right? And I think that's the powerful thing that people use at the moment to dismiss stuff, is they can... That's why... And it goes back to the thing Sothan and I was joking about before. If you can find a, a grammatical error in somebody's sentence, you can say, this person was supposed to listen to them, they can't even get their grammar right. Dismiss. We also refuse to put any limits on it, which we could do, but again, the companies don't want to do the limits because that means less profits. Yes. It's the point of the scientific method to eliminate the confirmation bias. It's not that climate change is fake, it's that there are legitimate reasons to be sceptical. 
But it falls into the binaries that we're stuck in as well, right? How if you di we're stuck in a position now where if you if you slightly doubt a part of a commonly held belief, you exist as an example of the far opposite, and you should be dismissed by both, and you will be. When people get told that scepticism can only be a result of conspiratorial bullshit, they're just going to entrench. That's the best summary of it so far. So what I think we should do is anybody that's got a dissenting opinion from the main thrust or from what we believe on our side to be the truth, I do. What we should do is we should get them kicked off immediately everywhere where they can have a voice so they'll go to a place where they get their own views echoed back at them and instead of being debated, they get silenced and get told that everything they say is true and then come back in a more fierce and entrenched fashion a far bigger problem than they left. Like if we said you could make pro profits, we're going to regulate your ability to pollute. The companies would go nuts because they'd make less. Therefore, to them, it's the end of their world because they have to check their greed. And its current form allows unlimited profits, which is one of the biggest problems. It creates the mega billionaires and the monopolies and companies that... Uh, and the climate crisis. From what I'm reading, not having the original paper, 66.4% of the 12,000 papers that were reviewed expressed no position on AGW. You can ignore this double I'm enjoying the conversation. Oh, I see. Roger that. The statistical, the statistical no-no of is that those no positions are supporting the consensus, which the papers themselves don't actually do. Did I make the heels of it? Right. What I want to do is I want to put on my diving helmet and my diving um, flippy flappers. I'm going to turn that off and we're going to go for this. And now with the heads lab fully searched, I'm going to with 176 seconds of oxygen. I'm going to do a couple of laps of the outside of this place and see if I can find something that can be picked up through the wall with my scanner. A reasonable person can read the paper and say, well, this is bullshit, but then if they're just told they're an ignoramus, even though they can't, they can literally verify what they aren't reading by the paper, it makes them feel like they're being silenced. I think silence, this, the idea of silencing someone is very much that short term, short term victory for long term, long term defeat, right? What we need to do is vote in a normal guy just like us to power that truly represents the people, like Trump did. He's <laughs> just a billionaire sex offender like the rest of us. <laughs> just a response in there, I think. I think it's the inability to listen even to people you categorically think are stupid and wrong and incorrect. Because the idea that they're going to go and just talk amongst themselves instead of have their ideas burned by the sunlight, then you're fucked, right? Come on, I want the scabby scanner to pick something up. So far, I have added nothing to my attempt at getting 100%. Literally zero today. I got a scabby last week and five molars. Stay down there. The last thing I want to do is get eaten by Trudy at this step. Trudy, this might be one of my last times that I ever encounter you, so if you could please not eat me for five seconds. Come on, Scabby Scanner, pick up something for me. Make me happy for one last time in this godforsaken pond. I don't think he did so, that I think he was saying, like, that he was bringing both things together. Bringing both conversations together. Let's go 
little bit of a hole in here somewhere. There was a few holes that I went in. One led to the underside of the oak lab. I think I've actually searched a lot of these before because I was searching the pond for specific um, for specific collectibles. But if I can do a full lap of the pond with the scanner out, then it'll at least tick off if the molar is potentially down here. Ever empty that jug I was avoiding? What jug's that, Alkirion? Sorry. Look at that look. I don't know if I remember what jug. Ow. So this is the entrance to the pond lab. Or it's the pond lab itself. So I am still on the north side. What jug, Alkir? Oh, the jug of mold. I did, I did it yesterday, yeah. We are just talking about a paper on... Uh, the using... The discussing... Oh, well, they'll be able to say it. <laughs> Reading Razzle. I did, I did it yesterday, Alkirion, yeah. So now I only have... There's one molar that I need to get. Yeah, we're just reading it for the stories, Chris John, yeah. And the uh the second hand car adverts that are in the on the inside of the back page. Not the rest of it. If you get desperate of an idea where you might find one. Nah nah nah, we're good, El I appreciate that. Even if it might favour the oranges to try and get as close to a hundred percent as I can. I bought this amazing pump thing, yeah. Doesn't help on his bike tires, but he's found another use for it. See what he's saying? It's not an outright lie, but it is misleading. There were 12,000 papers analysed and only 35 were included in the final statistic. That said, it fits with what the meta study was about. It was part of the discussion where you can easily find things to easily dismiss about anything, even if it looks like hard and fast evidence. Then it just opens the gap for people to fill it in with their own bias, right? I'm still not giving you the pump back. Yeah, but the Black and Decker drill that it's attached to Gwynblade is his. He borrowed it off his dad's mate, so he can't give you it all back and he can't disconnect it. You see, it's a very tricky, very tricky situation. Jeez, it's already nearly midstream break. And I've got nothing. I've got nothing in my attempt to get 100%. My efficiency level is terrible. I've pretty much done the whole pond, though. Or I'm working towards it. I'm just going to knock around on the surface. If anything pops up. It has Gwynblade, yeah. Thanks to uh, Rubber Burns. If you, you know Rubber Burns, don't you? He's a Scottish poet. Tam and all that. Uh, not yet, Chris John. That's what I'm. So I finished on. I, I got the embiggening cocktail ready yesterday. And I was. Um, I was hoping to get 100% of the game done. So I set myself a challenge. I've got until the midstream break on Thursday to get as close to 100% as I possibly can. One second, Santa. And. Um, I'm going to. Whatever the percentage is at the end, if it's an odd number, I'm giving the um, greens five points. And if it's an even number, I'm giving the oranges. So I've got until the midstream break to get as close to 100% as possible. That's, so that's what we're doing. I've not got everything on. I think I've got everything on the pond lab list. But I'm missing a single molar, and I don't know where it is. It could be anywhere on the map. Sorry for kind of spamming the chat with this discussion, by the way. It's just really interesting. I don't get to often talk about this stuff. I think that's important, right, though, because, like, I, 
I genuinely think that the only way to discuss anything like this, if there are two people that agree on something, it's a worthless discussion. Like, we could talk in our own little chamber back and forth about things we agree with all day, right? But you're not really changing anything and you're not really growing. It's just repeating yourself back at you. Well, my friends, so far, two so far sent me a message along the lines of, am I supposed to congratulate you now that it's MS Day? Is it MS, like International MS Day or something? I added molars included in the completion percentage because that's sadistic. I actually, speaking of the added molars, I only need, yeah, I've, I've calculated based on after the other molars were added, I need only one. So yeah, they're already added because I made the thing yesterday. Some some sort of awareness day. Cheeky, happy MS awareness day. <laughs> Am I supposed to congratulate you or whatever? Yeah. Right, I need to go for a midstream break really quick. Santa, I'll replay these. Everybody, Santa would like you to listen to this. I think it's the first time he's ever done this in bits, so get ready to enjoy this. Fuck you too. <laughs> Oh, God. Right, I'll be back in two minutes. Cheeky, you're in charge on your special day. Try Gentilian 222. Try Gentilian 222. Novum Gentilian 222. October Gentilian 222. Sept Vigentilian 222. Sex for Gentilian 222. Quin for Gentilian 222. Quarter Vigentilian 222. Trevi Gentilian 222. Two duo vigent alien two hundred and twenty two unvigent alien two hundred and twenty two vigent alien two hundred and twenty two novem decilian two hundred and twenty two octo decilian two hundred and twenty two septem decilian two hundred and twenty two sex decilian two hundred and twenty two quint decilian two hundred and twenty two Two quart you or decillion two hundred and twenty two three decillion two hundred and twenty two you o decillion two hundred and twenty two one decillion two hundred and twenty two decillion two hundred and twenty two known illion two hundred and twenty two octillion two hundred and twenty two septillion two hundred and twenty two sextillion two hundred and twenty two quintillion two hundred and twenty Twenty two quadrillion two hundred and twenty two trillion two hundred and twenty two billion two hundred and twenty two million two hundred and twenty two thousand two hundred and twenty two spam. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z No. Martin, thank you for the bits. Santa, thank you for the bits. Spam away. Look at Cheeky with his own spam as well. Chad, stop dancing. It'll encourage him to do it further. Martin, thank you for the bit. Santa, thank you for the bit. I appreciate it. How are we all well? Welcome back to the stream, everybody. First question, what is in this can? Second question, let's get into that pond lab because I need to find something, otherwise this whole stream's been a wash. Southern says, a cloudy lemonade. Right, let's get back. I'm going to sleep, I'm going to get my buff again, and then I'm going to get down there. Cheeky says, a cream soda. Santa says, fizzy orange. Chris John says, cream soda. It's a conspiracy, there is nothing in the can. I mean, tell me how you can prove that there is something in this can 
other than just believing that I wouldn't fake it. <laughs> Gary says Pepsi. I could, the fizz could be a sound effect. I could be just good at manipulating the weight. Spill it, <laughs> spill it in my keyboard. Yeah, I could spill it in the keyboard and then you could see based on my controls. Martin says orange zero. I hate swimming in game. I, I, I think the the most impressive thing that Subnautica did. We were talking the other day about how it's impressive that they managed to make a survival uh, a survival Sorry, game with man. no combat, and it be over. one of the best survival games ever made. The most impressive thing they did is make a a completely like a twenty hour underwater level, and it not make everybody want to walk into traffic. Alkyrion says a Diet Coke. Because somehow, because somehow it feels really good and like you want to spend more time swimming in it. Maybe it's because it's a beautiful tropical ocean paradise instead of some back garden. I do kind of like the sort of soft light that goes on in this game. It's rad. I maybe could have, in the past, lit the whole area a bit more. There is nothing else I want to do on the base, is there, before we leave? I don't think so. Plus, I need to push towards 100%. All right, Sothan says Cloudy Lemonade. Cheeky says Cream Soda. Santa Fizzy Orange. Christian says Cream Soda. Gara says Pepsi. Mindright says Diet Coke. Christ, and about you, I've been busy building. It's the coziness thing, right, Christian? The Cozy 5 system just made me... It made me pull my finger out. Right, the answer is... It's Pepsi Everything Max. Looks good from here. Do we give Gara it for just simply saying Pepsi? If it was normal Coke, would you give somebody it for Diet Coke? Probably. We'll give him like 90% of the point. Not played for a few updates. Valheim has been consuming my life. So after this, Chris John, I'm doing Lethal State of Decay. Tastes good. If I wipe, I wipe on that one, by the way. Then I'm going to beat my summer car on stream and then we're going for the Valheim. I need to do Mistlands. I'm going back to Valheim, so Valheim will be consuming mine on stream very shortly. The new updates in this, though, are tippy-top. Imagine how cosy it could be if you built something that wasn't shit. Oh, shit, somebody's come to... Uh, Mindrite's come to grace us with his presence. Mindrite, what are you doing off the bottom of the pond? I oh, know, you're right. Good stunts. Where's Thandia? Let's see what's around here. Thandia? Thandia, however, has opted not to help us. Give you five points. Alright, um, what was I doing? I'm back now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off some stuff, then I'm going to go into the pond lab itself. I suppose I was going to take off my swimming gear, but you do actually need to do quite a lot of swimming while you're down there. I'll put that away, that away. I've not got a great deal of arrows. I'll repair that. Well, let's keep going. God, I love that little helmet. I've not seen that from what I've read in the paper so far. So I'd read paper better. That's the most generic sentence in the world. Right. If I recall, I mean, I think the best way to get down into the pond I'll lab itself up. maybe to jump off the back of the farm and try and find the hole in the pond where you go down, which I think is that thing. I am growing muscle sprouts, sprouts Christian. Finally, I finally worked out that it's possible. After all this time, what are about doing a prediction on whether you'll find the milk molar today or not? Or a scabby? I mean, we could do a prediction tomorrow for whether or not I find this final milk molar. Normal. Normal milk molar. You did cheeky, it was Pepsi Max. Okay, so there's nothing showing up on the scanner here. I'm going to swim deeper into the, the base. We'll maybe do it tomorrow. 
prick, he says. <laughs> Cheeky. Stop being so rude on your special day. I got one up there, didn't I? I think I have, I have actually had a pretty good um, scan through this area, but I don't know if I had the scanners with me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's going to lead everybody to thinking it's your birthday, Cheeky. That's the only problem. Happy birthday, Cheeky, for the record. Well, let me just quickly check in here. I know there's a lot of diving bell spiders, which always push my shit in, but I just want the scabby scanner to pop up and say, Guess what, Max? Look what you're about to find. Pretty good. But instead, no, nothing. Twat. I just get that instead from Cheeky, and the scabby scanner remains silent. Come on! Find me something. Let me go top put my oxygen in here. There is a hole down here, I think, that might have some good gubs in it. Maybe. I've got 60 seconds of oxygen, so let's not fuck around too much. This is where you find the key, isn't it, for, your, for the chest in the tunnel. Hello? God's sake, don't die down here, please. This is a dead end, so if there's nothing here, I can just swim back. Ow! Swim back, Stubble, swim back. I might have cut this a bit fine. I might have cut this a bit fine. I might have cut this a bit fine. I've run out of stamina. I've cut this a bit fine. I've really cut this fine. Oh god. I think I'm labelled somehow. I get mods allow your messages. Happy chatting from auto mod. Yeah, I think you might be. I think if you get auto modded twice. Or grab that for a while. And I can't remember how we managed to get rid of it. It was like permanently added as um, as a bad boy for us uh, for testing out what the auto mod was capable of, despite us telling it. Exclamation mark! Lurk by peeps. Fisty, have a good one. Have a good morning. I think it's a bit. Yeah, despite the auto mod telling Augur that he's probably going to get fucking labelled as some bad person, he still tested it to its limits. Fisty, have a good morning. Right, let me check in here if I need. Is it Wendell? Pond, I've got everything, so I don't need to search for anything in here. The odd scabby, maybe? Something pop up game? Give me something, anything. I am so terrified that I need like one thing just to tip it over. Anything in here? No? Refresh now, let's see if it fucked off. You getting them still? This is where I found the statue, the Koi statue. Yes, that's what I did. I came through the entire place recently. I knew I'd done it for some reason. It was to find statues. I think the pond might actually be done, you know. Twat. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Where? Cheeky's distracted me. There's deaths on Cheeky. So it just takes a refresh. And here I thought I'd never use that master level statistic analysis class I just took last uh, semester. Right. I think I need to go back into that main room that splits off into four. I've been down there, I believe. Yeah, I searched this whole place for... Um... I searched it for statues for the uh, Rascal Rogue. See, this takes me to the main lab. And I know that this place is clear, because that takes me back to the pond in general. I'm obviously in here a lot. So the one last place I need to check is down that wet tunnel. Or have I been this way? Yeah, this is the bed area, right? And this takes me... This is a fucking maze, this place. It's easy to forget. Alright, so yeah, this will take me back out here. Have I not searched wherever this is? Just some gubs. That's alright, I'll take some gubs. It might... That might be required for 100%. That's where I just went. So this wet tunnel takes me down here. Do 
be fair, Cheeky is pretty accurate. Cheeky's accurate? Oh, you mean that description of his personality? I mean, I know it's his special day, but we can't go start complimenting the men, mind right? See, that's the pipe that leads up somewhere else. Crazy lady, welcome to the stream. How's things? I have the embiggening cocktail complete. I'm just trying to get to 100% before uh, halfway through Thursday's stream where I will be making myself big again and going home. To anyone who makes their own burgers, do yourself a favour and get AG, uh, AJI Crystal Pepper to sprinkle on the patty. It's Chico, guaranteed, by the look of things. Crazy lady, how are we? Wait, well, that's true. Hmm. Alright, I didn't get anything flagged in the entirety of the pond lab. I think the pond lab is safe. The oak lab, I would have found, right? Or maybe not. Pond lab, I think that might be the last time we ever venture into you, other than to quickly grab the things. Hello mosquitoes, it's nice to see you. Soon I'll be doing stuff like killing my last mosquito in Grounded and those kind of exciting things. I can't wait. It is, it's a Pepsi Max day. I feel like the last day should have been a Pepsi Max day. To pay respects. I need to kill Wayne at some point as well, don't I? Oh shit, I've got the stuff on the to-do list. That's what I was going to do. I need to build a Chaz lift. Chaz, you're going to hard cancel us if we don't build a Chaz lift, right? Chaz has an idea. <laughs> this must have been... It might even have been last year. Chaz had the idea of... Um, Making a vertical zip line to see if it would work. It got named the Chaz Lift and I've been putting it off ever since. And it's to do. Hmm. What am I going to do with that? Maybe tomorrow. Alright, Chaz, how about this? An absolute, definitive, stubbler promise that I will start tomorrow's stream with the Chaz Lift. I'll name the stream Chaslift. It would it, Ch Chaslift all the way down. It was tomorrow, three months ago. <laughs> all right. If I don't, the Greens get a point. Deal. Shake on it. Pinky promise. I think we just disagree at a fundamental level. There's a statistically significant consensus among the papers whose conclusion takes a clear stance on the existence of it. Oh shit, we're not today! No, 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 no. Wayne, can you please clear out? I need to check the, um, I also need to check it with proper gear on. Yeah, you can parry. It only works on mosquitoes, from what I can tell, uh, Chris John. If it worked on wasps, I'd be very happy. The gift in the greens a point. I will remember, cheeky. Twat. Right, when? When? If you could just. Okay, he didn't see us, it's fine. Right, please. Scabby scanner. I need to find something, anything. I've searched this place obviously a hell of a lot because I come in here regularly for the uh, for the duplicator and that kind of thing. But I haven't searched underneath a great deal, and maybe back out into the la into the uh, red ant lab. Although I do go into the red ant lab a lot, don't I? Because of um, fuck me, this fucking got too much hair again lately. Get up and back and into the. There's like a look, you can see a lump look where it's all squashed and, sh and rammed up into it. You're making a great case for lovely, simple to understand conspiracy theories. Yeah, the burden of proving something is. It opens the door to so many questions that people start to lose that faith, right? 
And I think when somebody says, no, you're stupid, this is clearly the truth. All people hear is, wait, I'm what? What did you call me? And then immediately dismiss everything you say. Not that Southend or anybody has said that anybody in this instance is. For the record. Right, let me check every single... If there is a new collectible or something in here that I missed, then I am very ashamed of myself. But at least I will have found it. Can I press any of those buttons? I searched that lower lab. I forget that I'm not looking for... I'm also, when I'm in labs, looking for things that aren't scannable. But I've got 100% of the stuff. Oak Lab isn't one of the data tabs, is it? Hedge Pond, Haze, Black Ant, Hill, Under Shed. So Oak isn't one, but it might be, it might be one of these, for example. What's going to happen to Burgle? He'll be left alone in this lab. I mean, Tully's with him, right? Tully's not going to be made big. Oh, is Tully going to be made big? Virgil, can you stop making elephant sounds, please? It's distracting. I suppose him and Tully just sort of knock around, right? And get old together. Lob it all in the bin. What, is that in reference to Burgle? I'm missing that first space to dev thing as well. I wonder where it is. Must be in a difficult to find place. Right, let's have a look underneath the lab. Struggle, you really shouldn't be looking inside labs. You're not a qualified vet. <laughs> so far, I've found three. No, I've found 15 molars. <laughs> 15 teeth. One tongue. And next door's wedding ring. Right, let's venture into the lab at this level. I would have to kill a hell of a lot of red ants if I went down here all guns blazing, but I don't... I've been clearing this lab out violently for a while now, because this is where I come to level up new, like, weapon skills, or it was, and that still needed doing. I've definitely swam around down there very recently with the scabby scanner. Where is this molar? I think it might be in one of those really hard to reach, like, like the brick was that time, if you remember. The brick in the hole where I got the sticky key from. I'm trying to think of areas I've not been since I got the scabby scanner. Can't be anything here, surely. If I've missed something in here, then shame on me. Also, no, you're good, Southend, don't, don't worry. Feel free. Just as you say yourself, it's not something I can sort of try and present out loud, but you are more than welcome to continue. Mm. Wayne? No. In fact, speaking of Wayne, let me go check inside his cave. There was a place that I blew up to get... Because there's also two other molars, right? There's the... Um, it's two... It's one normal molar I need and two megas. There's nothing around here. Is there? Fuck! Hey, hey, hey. All right. With that done, I suppose the next place I need to start looking is the Haze Lab. Which I have also searched recently. The thing is, is I've been in these labs recently for the... Um, To find the uh, chips for the super duper machine and to also get statues for the rascal rogue thing. Check the sand. I will, I will, because I'll be going to do the black ant lab as well eventually. Alright, pond is done, hedge is done, oak tree is done. Anywhere in the grasslands. I would have found it. I've searched the entirety of the decking. 
There is some raw science somewhere in the haze that I've been struggling to get. Let me go back. I'm going to grab some bricks and we're going to go over to the haze. I'll go grab that raw science so I've at least got one extra thing done today. And then we'll continue. Kokolo, welcome to the stream. Is that how you say that? Well, what about eight labs? Also, for the record, if you know anything about this game that I don't know, or if you know anything, if you've got advanced knowledge or tips or hints, I can't. I can't. I'm not allowed to accept them. I've almost done a full war mode playthrough without looking anything up or getting any help. And I'm about to get to the end. I got one. I actually, I accidentally read one bit of help from chat, and I made myself forced myself to not take advantage of it for the entire play. But I did it yesterday. I finally uh, removed that scab, as it were. Is there some consensus? I'm satisfied as hell when you finally did that. Yesterday. It was kind of good. <laughs> I like to hold myself to those kind of standards, but if I'm going for 100% and there's a chance the Greens could get some fucking points out of it, then I'm sorry, sir, then. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, everybody, but I'm fucking over the Greens. I'm sorry for you as well, sir, then, as the moral representative of the entire Greens. Right, let me knock up some more bandages, or I would if I had any plant fibre. Let me mock up some plant, knock up some plant fibre so I can knock up some more bandages. Time is at 6 p.m. Go on, let me sleep at 6 p.m. Come on, game. I need to go to the haze tomorrow. Got an hour of the stream left, and I've yet to get one extra thing to add to 100%. Being a moral representative doesn't bode well for me. Are you saying the Greens don't deserve an outright bully as their moral representative, sir? Right, I can't sleep. Let's just hope this comes through. You're saying that the Doom House is bullshit. As what is essentially one of the founding members, sir, then. I'd like to hold you personally responsible for the only the parts that you find morally objectionable. Question or whatever. And that's Trim says, shut up, which is fair. Trim, welcome to the stream. <laughs> State of Decay is coming soon, Trim. And I'm not going to have my first community wipe. It's not going to happen. Write this down now. Clip it. My first community is going to beat the game. On lethal. <laughs> Even I don't believe my own bullshit on that one. Easy trim, yeah. Yep. I'm not going to wipe at all. I'm, I need. We need to actually hash out what this playthrough is going to look like because the game after this is lethal state of decay for the. Rest. I've never played on that difficulty before. There is a chance that I start the game and wipe. And as funny as that would be, and as sort of legendary Doom House bullshit it would be, and then we just do monster babbles and play my summer card the following day. As funny as that would be, I do kind of want to experience the full breadth of the difficulty. So maybe I give myself, this was the plan, give myself three streams where I'm allowed to restart, right? Over and over. I'm allowed. If I wipe, I'm allowed to make another one. And then after those three streams are over, I am no longer allowed to make another So. The wipe after those three streams are over is the credits, and then that's it. Is that fair? I'm just going to go quick. Is that because I'm really good at it? Is that what you mean, Trim? Because I'll be so good at it that I'll just have to, I'll just sort of walk to the credits. It's on Trumbull Valley as well, so we're not going to hear about Trumbull Valley over the radio. Sorry, Chaz and Sibbles. So maybe we have the three-day respawn period. Razor, welcome to the stream. We talk about state of decay wipes or just general wiping. No, Razor. I always wipe before every shift. 
like a sensible human being. You can't come in here on a Sunday, Sunday, on a Tuesday evening and accuse me of anything else. All right, can I sleep? Still can't fucking sleep. Razor, welcome to the stream. Calling it now, you wipe in the first stream, sure. you then take it super serious and try hard it for the next two. And as soon as you start the fourth stream, you wipe GG Monster Marbles. Right. If you're watching the, uh, the, the best of, you'll be able to see this spliced in perfectly with this. And that is me wiping on the fourth day. Turns out Trim knows what he's talking about. They go clip that and I'll just be able to use it, you know. I'll play the wipe in there. <laughs> Razor, welcome to the stream. No, I use a bedpan like every other sensible human razor. Right. On my search to get 100% and to scrape the map of everything that's left in the game, I have so far... Two hours into the stream, found nothing to add to the list. We are facing the very real possibility, boys and girls, the zero progress stream. Somehow, it's come to this. So let me get into the haze, let me get into the lab, let me find something and live happily ever goddamn after. Non Chris John. I haven't played since. June last year. So I'm going to be going in nice and blind on the new update. I don't know about the update. I know nothing about the update. And I can't wait to learn it in-game. Let him get utterly fucked for three days. <laughs> it's lethal. Right, 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 right. My scabby scan has picked up something. Raw science. Where? This way somewhere. Peaks here. Weakens that way. Strongest about here. It's below me, right? It's gotta be. Yeah, they do, Christian, yeah. Blind, he says. And yet his eyes are perfectly functional. Have you seen the gameplay on this place? Barely. Alright, if I can get this one thing of raw science, then maybe I can claim that this stream has been successful. What the fuck are you doing in here? Other than trying to steal my very... It says there's raw science right on top of me. Where? How is the raw science right here? Strongest here. Let me... Mark that on the map somehow. Is it on top of there, maybe? You meant lethal, it's French for you're fucked. His eyes are functioning, it's, it's a typical love, not so much. His prefrontal cortex, not at all. Stop making words up, Razor, to try and make yourself look clever. So when I come down here, it gets slightly stronger as I head back in the direction of the set. Here, it's very strong. All right, so it's got to be in or around this crap, right? Can I maybe get up and on top of it? I found that guy before, right? Yeah. I'm keen to see the new State Decay update, isn't it? Hopefully I can survive long enough to showcase it. Shut the fuck up, Santa, you brick layer. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. What's wrong with manual labour trim? Yes! I did it! I did it! I found something in today's stream! Today was a zero progress stream. Let me take a screenshot of the, for the thumbnail. Somebody somebody cry about me uh, wasting time taking thumbnails. Because Siddles isn't here to do it. Today is no longer a zero progress stream. Today is a progress stream. Well played, team. We've done the undoable and made progress. There you go, is that? <laughs> You've even got a picture of Siddles in there. The update will showcase it, don't worry. I'm so excited for the state of care to, uh, to attempt. So the rest of the year is going to be the grounded finale on Thursday. 
State of Decay 2 attempt. My summer car until completion, if possible, if I can do it. And then State of Decay 2. It's going to be quite the year. No, and then Valheim, sorry. Mistlands. There's nothing in here, is there? I didn't miss anything. There's nothing in there. No, 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 no. Wow, when finding a small bit of real science is the highlight of a stream, how far we've sunk. It's just, I think what this is, is it's a showcase of just how well this playthrough's gone. That when I actively look for more things to do towards the end, I can't find any. How about that? Is that a better way of rephrasing it, Elkirio? Ow! Gross, that wasted time taking thumbnails. Gross, is true. Oh, 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 oh. Trim and mocking bricklayers. Possibly the most skilled people I've ever seen. When for, yeah, exactly. The update will showcase. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Alright. Been that way then, so I think the only way to go now is this way. And then after this, we'll search the sandbox. He was talking about the women he did. <laughs> What kind of subcategory is a brick trim, you disgusting bigot? <laughs> Don't answer that. If the 28 mosquito emote was in here right now, we could use it, I'm sure. Permission to just play Witcher 1 again on stream for no reason. We'd be able to see the bricklayer again, we'd be able to see vegan teeter again, we'd be able to see the fish god again, we'd be able to see a ba again. We'd be able to walk through the streets of Vizima and hear like that constantly. We'd be happy. Cheeky's not up for it. I'm game for which I've never played any of them. The Witcher 3 is like a perfect game. Witcher 1 is a really bad example of a perfect game, but it's got more heart and less quality, and I really liked it. I'm the bigot, but you don't know about the brick category. I'm the bigot, but you don't know about the brick. I'm sorry to any bricks listening to this. You still, what, you don't get Trim's jokes, I don't know. Bricklayer. <laughs> it's one of them where if I say any other word, I'll give it away. Right, give me some raw science. Give me give me anything. Give me a scabby. I've made the number go up once already. Do I have the gold card for these tosses? I don't imagine. If I get a gold card here, it'll be even less of a zero progress stream. You'll all be bowled over by how brilliant I am at video games. Gold card. Oh fuck, I've not got a lot of oxygen, have I? Please don't drown in the fucking... Stubbler? Please don't be a dead end. Stubbler? Let's... Drowning down here is an idiot trick. Stubbler. Oxygen, please. Game. Hello. Doomha chopped chicky giggle. <laughs> I respawned here, which was foolish. I can't remember how to get my bag. You can change the difficulty any time during your adventure. That's bad. That's a bad shot. I love the term toss it. Uh, Monday, Trim. Twat. Cheeky, thank you for the bits. Trim, thank you for the bits. Thank you all for your kind words. Are they meant to be thick or have they been hit by a brick? Is that it? <laughs> so... 
It's just a generic term for... I don't know. I, don't, I can't explain it. Nice trick, idiot. Yeah, Monday trim. So the challenge is I've got to get as close to 100% by the end of the stream. By the end of the playthrough. And I'm going to... In, I'm going to trigger the ending. What am I going to do here? I need to work out where... where There's an exposed pipe that takes me straight in there, but where is it? Here. You talking made me need a wet poo. Wait, wait, wait. I need... I'm going to try now, before Thursday's midstream break, because after that I'm triggering the end of the game. I need to try between now and then to get as much of the collectibles and as much of the shit done to get 100% as possible. The closer I get to 100%, am I going to be even be able to get this bag back? So I can get oxygen here. This might be impossible to get back. If I get 100%, the, the oranges get five points if i get 99 percent, the greens get five if i get 98 the oranges so it's going to be uh, even numbers the oranges get five points odd numbers the greens get five do i have the talent point on for extra oxygen i do hang on a minute this is the, i might not be able to get this back unless i go back and get my swimming gear points for the most deaths Right, get oxygen. So I'm going through all the labs now trying to find anything I might have missed, but I've accidentally got my bag stuck. What do you mean, Alkirion, sorry? I think I'm misunderstanding your point. Right, swim faster, I think, with nothing in my hands. 34 seconds. Water flow, get out of my way. This is so far down here. Why did I think this was a good idea? Stop blocking me, you little pricks. There's not one for deaths, thank you very much. I see what you mean now. Bag, 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 bag. I'm running out of fucking oxygen and I can't get my... Bag! Idiot. Okay, it's a dead end. I'm fucked. I'm going to die again. No! Stubbler! Okay, don't go down there. It turns out there is nothing there, and... It's a fucking dead end. Thank you, Razor, it's true. What happens if you die while your back is there? Um, I think there could be multiple bags, so then. They don't just delete my gubs. Thank you all for the kind words. Cheeky, thank you. You people thinking this is only the second death of today's stream. Goddamn. Big Smoke, welcome to the stream. It doesn't know. It's uh, Diving Bell Spiders that does that. It's good, sir. Then it's fine. Big Smoke, welcome to the stream. Alright, everybody, calm. So, then, Grandma Bear. I know you've made. Santa, you've confused Santa now, sir, then. Well done. I mean, I'll test it, actually. I might be wrong. I've been wrong in the past. This playthrough will men end. Have you seen Trim's man end? It's disgusting. It ends on Thursday to me. I'm just doing clean-up at this point. That way. Bag, 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 bag. I might have to have another death until I can get this out. So I don't have my swimming gear on me. Like a professional. I said that four months ago. I don't think... <laughs> I've not actually had owned up to making an assumption on when this playthrough will end. Where's my bag? Oh, you shitting idiot, Stubbler. But yeah, no. I have the piece in my possession. And I've set a challenge to get as much as I can before midstream break Thursday. Am I going to die again? I think I'm going to have to die one more time. 
This is absolutely fucking up my gear. God, I'm getting some nautical flashbacks from this bed. Oh, I was right there as well. It's fine, it's fine. It's not fine. I did not mean to come here. I meant to respawn at my at the field station and not at No, it's good. It's everything's fine. Relax. How could it be bad? Okay, that was bad. That was bad. It's one fucking pipe. Even I knew to get my underwater gear going into that pipe. Jeez. <laughs> All right, everybody that would like credit, everybody would that would like. Sorry, we need to make a thing in this channel. We need to make an "I wouldn't have made that mistake" award. Doom hard chopped, doom hard chopped, doom hard chopped, chicky giggle twat. <laughs> Press one if you would like the I wouldn't have made that mistake award. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Mazak, look, Mazak would like the I wouldn't have made that mistake. Trim would as well. Alkarion said I wouldn't have made that mistake award. Chaz, look, Razor, everybody wants to ladder themselves in glory at Stubler's expense. You egomaniacal lunatics. As I look to the stream, I died in a pipe. I don't make mistakes, I call them calculated lessons. Trim, denial is a river that goes through the Amazon jungle. They shouldn't have named it better. Dying in a pipe, so then essentially. The drink today, I'll carry on, is cloudy lemonade. In my defence, I'm the most egomaniacal out of all these people. I wait until Siddles gets in. <laughs> I could say that I would not do that mistake, but I would be lying. Exactly. Exactly. Bit of honesty. Cheeky. High five. <laughs> Proud to be useless award goes to Cheeky and I. Imagine not owning your faults. I guess Diet Coke's shocking, isn't it? Speaking of Africa, I might play Red Dead Redemption. It's amazing how many people don't realise that game's set in Africa. No! I'm on a tear at the moment. I was, I've was i been out of uh, playing games myself. Off stream. I've been in a bit of a dead spot. So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fuck off all the tropes and the hang-ups of modern gaming, and I'm going to sit down and play the Xbox 360. And I played Portal 1, Portal 2, and now I'm playing through Bioshock Infinite. And I think I might just cancel everything and go back to gaming in 2005. It's the way. I reconnected to the stream, and the first thing I hear are the words, you egomaniacal lunatic, so I immediately knew I'd connected to the Doom House. To think that there are some Twitch channels out there that treat their fan base, their fan base, fuck me, that treat their communities with respect. I feel like you're missing the point entirely. Excuse me, nerds. Excuse me. Excuse me, nerds. Have you know, I masturbated to my own reflection this morning, Razor. Your mistake was when you thought we were a community. It's just the accepted term. I started to, I got genuinely upset that Arthur got ill and turned the game off. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. That's the thing about that game. It's such it's so perfect in terms of emotional storytelling and that kind of thing that I I I can't, I'm scared of coming back to it. Even though it's in my opinion, like well I don't need to say that. It's my favourite game I think that's ever been released. You just say fan base. Now who's the egomaniac? I don't like that term online, genuinely. It's always struck me as a bit... I think community is also a bit odd. But the idea of your Twitch viewers or the people that you spend time with online... Like... I think a weird thing... A weird way to say it is, like... If I... 
The word, yeah, the word fans is so weird because if I played, if I stream and people watch, then there is a large portion of people that would say that these people are fans, which I don't agree with. I'm going swimming in the other direction, by the way. But if I then went to play Sea of Thieves with Southern, for example, and I said I'm playing Sea of Thieves with one of my fans, that would be one of the worst things any human has ever said. I don't know. I don't like that word. I think it's, like you say, it's a bit egotistical. Collection of tossers is a fun one. I usually close my eyes and think about my voice. Is that your way of turning yourself off? Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. I, don't... I think all of the terminology around streaming just makes me feel a bit ill. I consider you all FOFs, fans of Trim. Raise your hand if you're a fan of Trim. Let's just uh, let's count them all up, Trim. Trim's going to raise his hand. I can already see it. All right, so I have searched. Uh, that seems to be me. I've gone through every inch of the pipes leading to the Hayes Lab and the Hayes Lab itself, and I've got nothing and found nothing. Don't everyone raise your hand at once. Twitch will crash. That's it, Trim. There's a enforced delay from all the O sevens that people have written. Right, Lab Hayes Lab. Then I'll do the uh, Black Ant Lab. Then I'll do the Sandbox. The problem with the Black Ant Lab is it's a fucking maze. I just like the term fan. I don't want a lot of fanatics in the chat, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I think the best thing to do is just to not use any of that terminology because it all gets a bit grim, doesn't it? I think if he was an older uncle who plays games... How far apart are we actually in age range? It's like two or three years, right? Or are you a lot younger or older than I anticipated? Right, somewhere around here then, the Black Ant Lab would be next. The Black Ant Lab is under the... sandbox, but there is a back entrance here. Well, the two back entrances, in fact, but there's an extremely convenient one somewhere around here. Get this, by the way, I ordered some Pepsi for delivery from our weekly shop. Got Pepsi Max Cherry. I'm disgusted with this. My girlfriend said she'd drink them. I went to the shop closest. No Pepsi Max. Cherry's not the worst thing in the world. That weird uncle that can't go near schools anymore. <laughs> Only because I learned everything in them cheeky. I've completed it. I got 100%. There was a lot of molars, though. A lot. It took me ages, and I got in trouble. Right. Black Ant Lab. I've done this, haven't I? I've definitely done the Black Ant Lab, because this is the one with the... Um... Tell me that's not something. This is. The... I'm just going to get lost down here. I've done all of this. I'm sh I've done it recently. I actually think if the if the black ant lab's uh, done on here, I've definitely done this. I can skip it. Uh, Data Wendell, Black Ant Hill, eight of eight. I have searched every square inch of this recently. Got the molar in here that I didn't have. This 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 lab I know for certain is done, and I'll get lost in here if I try. Cardi, welcome to the stream. Aren't you like fifty four? I'm forty six. Order some from a good 30-40 minute walk away to turn up, put the delivery instructions. If it's not Pepsi Max, cancel the order. Get see a Pepsi Max cherry. Cherry Pepsi Max, fine, you big nerd. Yeah, lots of scabbies as well. Cardi, how are we? We went to school with scabbies. Didn't he sing that song? Plus all the giant mantises were a bitch to navigate. Yeah. The ones in a jar and that one in the computer. So now it's the Diet Coke equivalent of Pepsi Max. Wait, so you don't like Diet Coke, but you like Pepsi Max. But you like normal Coke, but you don't you don't like sugary Pepsi.
That's just got some strange tastes. I don't like normal Coke. I don't like Diet Coke. I don't like Pepsi Max Cherry. But when you said it's the Diet Coke of, I thought you meant it was like the ugly, like, bastard cousin of something good. It's the worst of the lot. I see, I see. Come on, Scabby Scanner, give me something. Anything. Did I... Did I maintain those? Fuck, I was going to go get some blocks. Still don't like Coke that much. Coke Zero is shite. It's the worst of the lot. This is all objective truth, right? You wouldn't be saying it if you were so confidently, if not. It's all for nothing anyway, right? Because Lilt's going away. What's the point in even drinking fizzy drinks in this godforsaken, soulless country? Red Dead Two. Is it any good on mouse and keyboard? I'm not picky. I just think sitting in front of a computer and playing it is not the way, Trim. You know, you need to be sat there, all the lights off, in the dark, obviously, on a big couch. Yeah, fuck mouse and keyboard. Get involved. Plus trim, you can do the really RP stuff when you can walk even slower and you can control the speed of the horse on the... Uh, it's not binary horse controls on controller and you can fucking sweat. And you can do them big panning... Sh <laughs> you can act like a fucking film director on your own playthrough on a control. Sorry, I forgot online that I have to preface that it's my opinion. I was about to say the opposite, actually, Mazza. You can tell it's an online discussion because everything's hard and true fact. I'm only kidding. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. You're right. You don't be sat perched on a computer with like Discord or something on the other monitor while you're playing something like that, right? You might forget that you are, you you might not forget that you actually exist. Am I about to go into this place? I I wonder if I could get away with the sizzle if I just put fresh defense up. What time of day is it? It's nine a.m. and I'm going into here, but I need to do it. I have achieved exactly nothing today. Look, say, look what you've done. The Valheim community is sending me death threats now. The way that you can tell it's the internet is that opinions on um, frivolous stuff are currency, right? So your opinions on Diet Coke has just made your social status in many websites go through the ceiling. The only objective thing when it comes to fizzy drinks in this country is the fact that Lilt's going away is a travesty. I say it's going away, it's going to get transferred to Fanta, but still. I would not want to play Red Dead 2 on a controller. Would you not? I suppose it's a preference thing, right? Oh, I love it. Oh, just the idea of sitting down with a controller to play that game. Speed control on the horse and that kind of thing is why I like it. And the panning stuff and all that sort of thing. Ah! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Then the shooting and all that sort of stuff. Really, it was made for a controller, I think, right? Social credit plus 500. Long live the Emperor Xi Jinping. Something or other. Oh, please. No! Good, he hit the cable, that's good. I'm just going to go get my ant lion armor and then I'll go and explore the uh, sandbox. I just want to get one extra thing, just one more scabby. I've got like 42 scabbies or something, so I have a feeling there's maybe 50. Don't call us fans, just call us members of one or the obvious. Just call us members are one of the obvious synonyms. Degenerates. Alright, Max. Right, let's go get my ant lion arm. Just for the mouse to look around and aim. The, uh, the same for a lot of Rockstar games, the controller aim assist and stuff that controllers kind of need is very good. Be smart, fast, lucky, or just you could have grounded up the cables can be broken on attack. I would shit. Who's this? Is this Mindrite? Mindrite! 
He's back. Easy Green, welcome to the stream. Members does sound very cultish, yeah. Doom House. I, said me I think I say members quite a lot, actually. Members, like a penis. Oh, oh dear, that's so funny. Easy Green, welcome to the stream. However, right, where's, what did I, went this thing, right? Lava will spike. Speaking of cults, I was really excited about Diablo 4 till I saw the, saw the fucking price tag. What is it now? Is it, a, is it a bunch of season bullshit and stuff? Why can't games just look at sea of Thieves and work out how it's done? Blizzard kindly asking for an arm, leg and a kidney. But is it free to play, at least? Both community and members are accurate descriptors, I think. Community. I suppose, yeah, they sound normal. I think that's it, so then. It's just, I think it's fans and that kind of thing that I have a problem with. All right, let's go back. Please, 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 let me, let me get what I want. Lord knows it would be the first time. Oh, huh? game, game, close, please. There we go. My gaming ring is comfy as hell, so I think the couch is actually a downgrade. 70, 70 quid for the base game, 80 for the base game plus game pass. 90 for the base game, game pass and cosmetics and a four day head start. What's game pass mean in this instance? Have they called something game pass? I got the fog on, it's a good day. Sort of. Oh, you were actually saying that. I thought that was a genuine statement about the word you assholes. I thought that was a genuine statement about members. I didn't realise. I was actually adding the uh, foghorn myself, mind you. You might have got away with that. Oh, Battle Pass. I'm with you. I'm with you. I thought they'd invented something called Game Pass and just didn't realise that they'd tread, tread, uh, tread on somebody's toes. Guess Diablo falls off my list. Yeah, there's no chance that I'd... the battle passes cosmetics only. Sixty, sixty, seventy quid or whatever. It's just too much. Simply too much for a single game now. The, the free to play stuff and the subscription based stuff and the game pass stuff and all that sort of thing. It's really proven how little you actually get for seventy quid nowadays. It's like it is almost impossible now. I think to justify a single game being that much. Steam sales and free games on Epic and all of that stuff. Kind of looking forward to four. Enjoyed Diablo three here and there. I was looking forward to four, but yeah, not that. Blizzard is known for keeping the price the same. Yeah. Like, I'm north of 300 hours on this game now, but I still don't think even this as an experience is worth paying that much for. I get that the people that make these things need to be paid for it and all that stuff, sort of but... I think a better way of putting it is, it would be nice if the people that made these things and the developers and stuff got if they were expensive and the money went to those type of people, and I'm not going to make some big it's the corporations taking from the profit of the work, I'm not going to say any of that sort of shit but to compare how we get games day to day now with the few companies that are still trying to charge £70 for a launch game it just feels harder and harder to justify not from any moral standpoint, just from comparing it to the last game you bought which you either got on a subscription service, or got free from Epic, or etc. The only game I paid that much money for was Elden Ring. So it still depends on the game for you. Yeah, I think I'm so far... I'm so deep in the free games and cheap sale games and subscription base that even for me, I just... I, I, I'm in a bit... Yeah, I suppose I'm in a bit of an issue with disposable income. Which is, which is bending it. Not spent a penny on Red Dead Redemption 2. 
I bought that. That might be the last game. Game. Game I paid full price for. You got it free with tradings. You animal. That was, what, five years ago now? Oh, I hate that I can't get into the fucking sandbox because they changed jumping for some reason. I built this whole tower and this was my method of getting up. But they changed jumping. They, like, reduces, reduced Max's jump by about 0.3 millimetres. And as a result, I have to do this sort of dodgy climbing bullshit. They ruined my tower. First the bees ruined it, then Microsoft ruined it. I'm all for free and discounted games, but I will sometimes shell out full price. You did so with Hogwarts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not saying it's a bad thing to do with Hogwarts. I think it's the illusion of ownership, right? You don't own Steam games or Microsoft games or anything, really, do you? Maybe I can do it if I do it backwards. You own it as long as the platform allows you to. Have you written them? A, I'll write them a strongly worded email. I think it's intentional. I don't think it's a bug. I might go on Twitter and threaten their family. <laughs> That's a joke for the record. An absolute joke. This is where you get clipped just out of fucking, just out of context. The amount of times people do this. Like, Leeds United have been garbage thanks to terrible mismanagement and things and lost what was some brilliant progress and have now been relegated back to the second tier of British football. English, I should say. There has been a few chances where we might have got out of it and it needed, like, the tiniest little, like, just missing big chances and stuff to score and get us some extra points and maybe we could have survived it, but we didn't. One guy that could have done it, that had the opportunity to do it, is called Patrick Bamford. People said they were going to come to his house, tie him up and push his kids down the stairs on Twitter. People said they were going to murder his dog if ever they saw his wife walking it in the street. And these are adults that are saying this shit. I'd like to say it was kids, but I don't actually think it is. Like, that's the, this is the price you pay for being in the highest division. Is you get a bunch of fucking... We never had any of that problem when we was in the lower section. It... it, it there's something about the internet generation that's attached to the highest tiers of this stuff. They're just... I don't know. They're, 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 they've grown up wrong. I think is a good way of putting it. If you had a proper striker, it would have been different. Think about what you're saying, though, Gara. See, it's, it, it's that. Like... It... I might actually use you as an example of the difference, Gary. It's the banter part of football that is only really attached to people that pick Premier League clubs. And that's where half of the problem comes from. But yeah, think about what you're actually saying there. If X, then Y. If we had a better striker. If we hadn't have got rid of X manager. If this and that didn't happen. It's the idea that people can try and get an edge on somebody by saying obvious things with a cheeky look on their face. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's on the similar scale. How do we get to this? Oh, it was something about him. Um... Why am I taking so much damage here? I'm trying to search this area, you big ant-lion bastards. Oh, no, you're just boring with football. Wait a minute, Siddles, one second. Siddles, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm just a boring football fan. <laughs> I don't hang around with the right Bantasauruses. Death threats are just the laugh, right, Siddles? 
Say hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I almost want to go into a voice call so I can use the air horns from the sound bud. It is, but it's just like it's the overly toxic thing I'm referring to. So. It's good when it's not just somebody saying lol, failed, lol, relegation, lol, this and that. Like, if there's actual football knowledge behind it, it could be great. But if it's just trying to get a rise out of the other people, it's a bit. Three hours of a street. Yeah, exactly. This has been one of the biggest failures of. Hey, what's this glinting under here? Bananas are radioactive enough to trigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit! Shifts. Sorry, Jimmy. Hang on a minute. Something's happening. Just as Gara was mocking me. Wait, 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 wait. Did you see what I just saw? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is it? What you're weak to, you bastards? You're weak to slashing and salty. So why the fuck? Hang on a minute. It was that Jamie. Welcome to the stream. One second. Something happened. It might be a very negative... Hang on a minute. Why can I not do any fucking damage? I'm using a fucking slashing weapon. Bananas are radioactive enough to trigger radioactivity centres at US. But I've heard that before, right? Is it something... To... What is it that makes them radioactive? Sorry, I got really distracted. I... I... Have I lost it? Has that antline fucked me out of whatever that was? There was something down there and it popped up for a split second and that antline interrupted me and it's gone again. Where? Did I not dig it up properly? Tell me I didn't just find something and then break it. No, it was a skeleton. A skeleton popped out of the ground. One that I don't think I've found yet. I was going to search all over every corner. But then I got interrupted by an ant lion while I was digging and I can't see it again. Oh, tell me this isn't bugged. It was like here somewhere. Game? Hello? Game, please? It's not showing up. Hang on, let me save and reload. Uh, load this one. Gosh, it's got to work. Jamie, welcome to the stream. How are we? Good afternoon. Sorry, I I have been for three like Gareth says for three hours. I've been searching every square inch of multiple parts of this yard to try and get as close to a hundred percent on this playthrough as possible. I just found something. Half dug it up and the game fucked me. Just that, Jamie. Yeah, just that. That's brutal. Is that has that really just happened? Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm mistaken. Let me go get a, a look from up top. I've got 11 minutes. Please, 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 please don't be, don't be busted. Am I allowed to reload a save to try and uh, reload a previous save, not the one I just made? How long ago is that? 38.43. Can I reload this if it's a bug? No, that's a bit meta for me, so then. Let's see what's around here. I think if I can just hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. It was like around here. I know I've done stuff like that in the past, but I kind of want to try as hard as I can. It was like here, and I dug something up, but the the mobs interrupted me. Let me do it. I'm doing it. Apologies for a banging and clattering upstairs. I think I get an auto save every time I walk past. So, I was just looking for anything, Chaz. And I found um, 
something glinting, so I thought I'll go over. I thought it was just going to be like a mint shard or something. I got into the um, sandbox, and I was attacked by um, by an ant lion. And while I was fighting it, I ran over to try and dig up whatever it was, and it was a corpse. Like a skeleton popped up, and I wanted to loot it, but let me see if it's there. Now, there, there, it Let's is. See what's around here. Okay, so the ant lion did break it. So if I put that trinket on... Feels like I'm being cooked. I can't take this heat. Please don't get interrupted by ant lions. Look, 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 look. Right, save now. You ready? Look, look! Why does that happen? Surely I should be able to loot that. If anything, Mazak, it's the opposite to a Half-Life reference. Reference. So it did it again. So I got interrupted the second I dug it up. Maybe the skeleton is just alerted by the ant lions to get you close. I want to. I'm going to reload and try that. Uh, the message that popped up, Chaz, was just um. It was the quest that I have. It comes up every now and again to let me know that the quest is still ongoing. Maybe I'll just clear the area. Yeah, it'll clear the ant line before digging. But why does it make it despawn? So watch. There's the antlion. Let me kill the antlion. I'll do this one at least. Die, 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 die. Good. All right, so that antlion's gone. So now I should be able to dig up this. I'll save here. Ready? It didn't pop up saying I'd looted anything, Elkirion, but I'll try. I have no idea what this is. I found something that might help towards me getting 100%. I wonder if it's possible to dig up past bodies when you've died. I don't think so, Chaz, because you can only dig in certain areas. All right. Look, there's definitely a skeleton there, right? I have gained nothing. Nothing pops up saying I gained anything. And now I can't dig it up again. And as far as I can tell, I've got like six minutes. I need to get back to base so I can turn the stream off. There's no glinting anywhere else, right? Bugged apparently, yeah. Oh, that's so annoying. Ant lions are the worst, me near. Just because, quickly before I Google it, should I tell you if it's a bug or not? Um, I'll do some more experimentation. This could be the first thing I... Oh, not the first thing, Chaz. This could be something I add onto the list to do tomorrow because I need to investigate this area a bit more. But, yeah. After a while, we'll look into whether or not it's a reported bug. But yeah, not for now, Mazak, if that's alright. Mina, welcome to the stream. They're called ant lions. Or just a skeleton with nothing to loot. It just disappears after digging it. I think they would telegraph that a bit more, though, Alkyria. And I doubt that's an intended way that it works. Ugly, nasty, sand buggy bastard ant lions. Yeah. We don't get them in this country, oddly. Which I'm happy about. Fuck ant lions, says Mina. 
All right, I need to head back to base. Thank you all for joining today. This has been a super duper successful stream. I have so far in today's stream collected one raw science thing. And that's it. In my quest to get 100%. <laughs> tomorrow then. Tom All right, so let's have a look at the stuff that's left to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, then again, I've... I've searched the entire hedge, the pond, the haze, the oak tree lab, and the, checked off the black ant lab. Like, I have covered a lot of ground in the search. So, and I killed the broodmother as well. The newly buffed broodmother, by the way. I don't know why your wigs are. Do you know what else isn't an enemy in this game? Cockroaches. You'd expect both of them to be pretty, pretty major parts in this, but no. Maybe not earwigs, I don't know if that's a thing that's only specific to any continent other than this one. But cockroaches for sure. I'll burn everything down if I ever meet one in real life. You do realise, Mina, they're not like six foot in real life. That's a scale issue. The stump is going to be the last thing I do, Gary, yeah? Okay, I can give you a hint if you want. No idea if you maybe... Uh, if maybe you have already been... I don't need a hint, I'll carry on, no thank you. True, roaches are fucking everywhere. It's, yeah, I, I have no idea. Didn't see you fortified that line. Yeah, to make it a bit safer, I mean, yeah, from the fucking bees. I look at dandelions in real life and I'm like, nah, I can't cut that down. I can cut that down, yeah. Yeah, I do this very much. There's a stump nearby here in the town that we live. There's like a, a place where people go walking regular. There is a stump that's exactly the same as the one in this game. It's like it's got the hollowed out middle and it's got all of the mushroom, the fungus or whatever it is around the side. It just looks identical to it and I can't help thinking of this play, this game. If they do, hopefully they had the ones that fly that sound like a damn helicopter. Flying cockroaches. If they're going to add that, I hope I'm long gone before they do. It doesn't contain a burglar, alas. Here's an unsolicited hint. You can press RB to grapple... Uh, to grapple to objects coiled in rope. Look at everybody. Look at everybody forgetting their own bullshit. Guess who doesn't forget it though? Good old Stubbler. Alright, everybody, thank you all for joining, but that is where I'm gonna to have to say goodbye for today. The um Is Thandia back or is it just Mind Right? Mind right, where's Thandia? Where's Thandia, Mind Right? Any idea? He's trapped in the pond. He's down there of his own accord. Roger that. Then fuck that guy. At least Mindrake came back to the surface. Right, um, next week then. Ne next week. Tomorrow, I suppose, on the second to last uh, grounded stream of this playthrough, we are going to go fully search the um, sandbox. Then I'm going to fully search the picnic table. Then the termite mound, which I'm not looking forward to. Above the termite mound, we're going to do the undershed. But I'm going to start with the chas lift. Then I'm going to do the undershed. I think I'm confident that everything's searched. I'm going to do one last breeze of the stump lab. And around the stump itself, the step ladder I've done, the wheelbarrow I've done, and I might do Castle Moldock one last time, but I think I've got everything in Castle Moldock. So that is going to be the penultimate grounded stream tomorrow, as well as the Chaz lift. Then on Thursday, we kill Wayne. Kill Wayne, do our final checks. Run out of time in terms of the 100% record, in which we will then put the embiggening cell in the spacer, Make ourselves big again and go home. Hopefully, getting an even percentage on the final completion thing and the oranges coming home with five points. No, Thursday's this game, Dougie. I'll be beating this game on Thursday and then State of Decay 2's on Monday. Right, thank you all for being here. I love you all very much. On my on Max's 726th day in the yard, that is where I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So I'll, I'll go through it again. 
I am now collecting as much shit in the game as possible because on the midstream break on Thursday is when I will be completing or I will be doing nothing but pushing the story to its end point. There might be a hidden boss which drags it over. I'm not quite sure, but I will be stopping doing anything other than focusing on completing the game after the midstream break on Thursday. So for now, <clears throat> for now, however, I need to go. Thank you all for being here. Welcome to all the new followers today. Thank you for the bits, the subs, the host, the raids, and everything. As always, I will see you all tomorrow, but for now, unless you're in the Doomhouse Discord, get the fuck out of my house. <gasps>
Jamie's got the overtake for the greens. Tagslack for the orange is second place. Mazak for the greens. Tagslack has seen past Jamie. Tagslack looking for his 13th marbles win of the year. He's in second place now. Satan's in first. Satan just blocks Tagslack from getting in first place. Mazak is in the lead. The greens, despite their over, their, uh, sorry, more, despite having more marbles. All right, Tagslack's back in first. Mazak, mind right, get the overtake. Tagslack's still holding on. Mind right gone left, tag slack gone right. This is a lot of this level left. That is that's look at that, that's pretty cool actually. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, now the game reads tag slack has been in the lead, but mind right is technically just ahead of him. Can tag slack get his 13th point of the year? Can Gara or Mazak for the Greens maybe go one better? I have no idea, Sothan, how Tagslack is always in the fucking lead. Mazak gets round early. Satan gets round even earlier. Can Satan do this? Tagslack has to settle with fifth as Satan for the oranges once again. Very, very few oranges in comparison. The seven oranges beats the 11 greens. The ending was just a... It was here, look. That's a cool level. Satan, congratulations. You are person of the century of the day. The oranges get their 109th point. This is the ending, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's the ending. This is rigged. Cool map, though. How is it rigged? You people just need to get better at marbles. Simple as that. Satan, congratulations. The oranges are on 109 points and once again. Greens are fucking terrible. Jamie finishes last. Well done, Jim. <laughs> Alright, Satan. Hang on, where is he in Discord? Satan, say something in Discord. I need to see that golden net. There it is. Satan, congratulations. Satan actually puts himself tied in second with Santa. Santa, Satan's right there next to you. Satan for the oranges is person of the century of the day. Let me strip the crown from the green head of Jamie because it looks disgusting out there. Wait, where's Jamie? There. Satan, GG, you are person of the century of the day. Oranges, congratulations, we win again. I'm, I'm not worried about the greens. I know the, the comeback that happened last year, I should be just cautious that it might happen again, but look at the state of the poor bastards. <laughs> All right, your person of the century of the day is Satan for the oranges. The oranges then go up to 709 to the, no, 109 to the green 75. Might as well be on 700. If you'd like to compete in marbles, there'll be another one tomorrow, as there is every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with a bonus stream races at the end. Thank you all for being here today. The ch uh, scores in the pins, if you'd like to check where you are or who's winning what and how badly Santa's throwing away his potential second place to two oranges. <laughs> right, if you're staying on the platform, Alkerion is live right now, as is the killer bit, so I recommend both. Alkerion's there, click his name, give him a follow, otherwise twitch.tv slash the killer bits. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the hosts. Thank you for the raids. Thank you for the subs and everything as always. Welcome to all the new followers. I'm getting out of here. I will see you tomorrow for more uh, Grounded. I will see you Thursday for the finale of Grounded. I will see you Friday for my summer car and Monday for the start of the State of Decay 2 lethal playthrough. After three days of attempts, if I wipe, it is over. Then we move on to my summer car. But for now, I'm getting out of here. Sleep well. I love you all. Satan, congratulations. Oranges, congratulations. But can somebody think of me a final word as I say? Satan, Alkerion, Jamie, Mindray, Gara, Mina, Mazak, Sothan, Santa, Cheeky, Dougie, and everybody else that's been here today. I love you all. I will see you all tomorrow. But the final word for today is... I could say farewell for now, Satan, but I would have said something similar to that anyway. It might not be, I'll get, if it's not, I'll be embarrassed. The final word is this, skellywag. Have I just said like some racial slur in the Philippines or something? Is this what gets us canceled? God damn it.
what type of dog is this? 